All right, folks. Let's dig into what we can do here uh, in Armored Core 6 again, because, um, yeah, we had some shortcomings. Unfortunately, the, um, the Sea Spider is, um, yeah, he's got, he's got heavy armor, and that's kind of his big thing. Like, Balteus has the shield, uh, the Juggernaut can't be attacked frontally, not like he has very heavy armor, though, but the, the Sea Spider actually has heavy armor, and you really need explosive weapons to actually do decisive damage against him. But we're done with that. We don't do that shit no more. The game, the, 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 it is over now. Now we just have fucking Cubelay and company and shit like that. But that's not that, that's that's not like any of the other bosses, <laughs> or at least not really. But the Dark Souls segment of the video game has ended, and it will not return until we go to New Game Plus Two. Thank God for that. But all right, so. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let me pull up the game and stop card. Good, okay. Like, I just I just ran it to S rank everything because fun and needed the achievement as the last thing. Now, Hikari, did you speed run all of the MTs? Because it's physically fucking impossible for you to actually have ammo for all of these fights and killing everything on the map. So something tells me you're speed running because Speed is probably one of the major determining factors for S rank, right? Because you can't just, yo, la ti da, kill all with the magnums. Okay, so. What shall we do? Well, let's have a look see at our primary weapons, because I'm still just not really. Well, the, the problem is... Oh, well, hang on here. What if we... What if we just get rid of this arm for the moment here? So what primary weapons can we fit with this energy load? Aside from not a whole lot. Also, we have... Well, I don't think the pile... The pile bunker uses the least amount of energy, I think. If you run small magnums alongside the larger one, it covers each other's reload 85% of the time, by the way. An NAAC fight is one it just won't last longer than two to three staggers anyway. If you're hyper-staggering, that, though, that, that's the thing. It's because you're still working on fucking... You're still working on instantly staggering the enemy, and if you're in there to shit-can the enemy, sure, you won't need that much ammo, but then we have to worry about everything else. But okay, so... Let's just say, on our left arm, we have the most energy efficient, that's higher in and load. I think it's actually probably the pile bunker, but 2-2, two, 2-2-5. Two, 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 Can we get better than 2-2-5? Two, two, the, the right, the, the, the stock pulse blade. The stock pulse blade is, is, is the lightest one. Though we also apparently have a weight problem, too. Actually, no. Though these are lighter. What the hell am I talking about? 225. 108. 150. Sorry, I'm reading the stats wrong. 500. So, Chainsword is heavy, but also the most energy efficient, but it's also not quite the melee weapon we're suited to be using. But also, again, I thought I unequipped that. So, get that shit out of here. We could probably fit anything now. Yeah, we can. Okay. But next to that, it's the dagger. Okay. I got a funny idea for a trick, too. What if we use the laser dagger and the stun baton and just hot swap them? Like, hold on. How viable is this? Because that's... That's like an eight-hit fucking combo if you pull that shit off right. Now, I just want to, for the sake of experimentation. Well, no, not that. Because I had the inclination once I realized, oh, wait, you can have a... With weapon lockers, you can have two melee weapons. So that means you can deploy one while the other's recharging. So you could huck one out, switch, and then go back in there fucking knifing the dude again. So... Hold on. But let's let, let's try this just to get the rhythm up here. So let's turn the AI off. 
Okay, so, man's there. So, what happens if we were to... That don't build a whole lot of stagger, but boy, that fucking hurts. All right, so... Well, it builds stagger, but it won't fucking kill him. I should say. All right, so let's try it in combat. Let's go under the, under the assumption that we will try and stagger the guy. Ah, we have to get him staggered first. That really won't work if he's not staggered. He'll just hop away. Okay, supply. Let's try that again. And hi, Tazrin. could get the delay to be shorter there for the melee strikes, but that's pretty fucking lethal. But the problem is, of course, he just hop away. Let's see if we can get that down to nothing. Let's see if I can get um, uh, a one hit, a one hit, a one hundred percent hit combo there. It's probably really unlikely. It's probably highly likely I'll miss one. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's difficult, but you can tear him apart. See, him, see the DM I, I sent you last night? Yeah, the uh, the log locations. I don't... Well, I might pull that up if I need it, but we, we need to know which missions we need the logs in anyway. So, yeah, I'll use my eyes first. But that... That... That's there. We can do that, should we need to. But I feel like I need... I would like to get away from using the cheese gun, if at all possible, but the game still relies on you staggering dudes. And if you're not staggering, and then doing absolutely horrific damage within that stagger window, you're just not playing the game right. So, we need to figure out exactly what we can manage here to just build stagger as fast as possible. Or means to build stagger. So... The laser slicer, not the plasma laser. Oh, yeah, no, we haven't got that yet. Once again, as well, I don't have all the fucking parts! Yet again. Okay, so impact. What's the highest impact weapon that, you know, isn't a rocket launcher? Or a shotgun, because this is also cheap. This is also competitively banned. Also banned, by extension. So we're trying to- we're trying to circumvent a typical cheese. This does a lot if you hit them. But the only problem is slow moving projectile. Instantaneously avoided by any fast enemy. Laser shotgun, about the same deal, but at least not necessarily uh, typical. Plasma rifle's an option. This thing is kind of okay, aside from ammo. Missiles? We could do that. I have an idea for a missile build. Which is just missiles, missiles, and more missiles. But for the sake of it, I kind of want to try it out now. It probably won't be optimal here, but missiles, missiles, and more missiles. Because we do have the split missile. And then we have, well, the aperitif now, which we, I suppose we should test. But then we also have, let's see here, the... Yeah, 2A8. But then... To compensate for that, to actually, you know, pull a, a complete left field on that one. Oh, we have these fuckers, too. Interesting. I don't, I don't, I didn't remember we lot soup. Oh, that came with the fucking dessert pack. Oh, we did get those. Delivery, cluster missile, delip, what the hell? Oh. Oh, goodness. Welcome to the 8th MS team, motherfucker, but not that. This. 
Because I like this. That'd be funny too. Peep the, the, uh, the build requirement. You can swap out the laser slicer for another melee uh, weapon until you get it. Well, Hikari, I'd like to build my own build, so I'm not going to be directly copying you anymore, but I will see. Okay. And, okay, uh, hmm. Alula, Abbott, Generator, what a... Yeah, Pulse Armor. I, you know, I need to go check out what the other expansions do. But, eh? Well, if you're doing... Because I know how this all works here. Maybe the larger magnums are more ammo efficient. Also, Fire Lena, hello. Hearts to you, too. Okay, so one thing I just want to do just for, for shits and giggles here, because I have this build in my head. It's probably the, the safest build we have here. The, um... Zephyr Oxide build, which, again, missile, missile, and more missile. So, Aperitif. Split Missile. The other Split Missile, we're going to have to change legs, too. But we'll just load back what we had. I didn't really change anything. Then, that thing. But we need new legs for this. You know, just for the sake of it. No. Funny as hell, that actually kind of looked interesting with the uh, the way the, the camouflage pattern worked on that one, but the dessert has gone straight to our legs. Right to our thighs! So I'll just reload what we had, because we saved it, but let's see here. So, AC tester, because I kind of want to see how this will work here, because I do I do want to I do want to start, you know, bending this. But so, how effective is missiles, missiles, and even more missiles? We probably should pull this in the arena, though. That'll probably actually give us a good test. Oh god, those keep coming. The missile launcher will just come back to haunt them. Like, the, the case. Or, you know, the, the you know, whatchamacallit, the Dendrobium Stamen missile fucking container will come back to haunt them. Or that, or it's probably, or it's, no, it wasn't the Aperitif. <laughs> okay, that, the cluster missile launched into the fucking floor, thanks. Those are not locking properly. Those are following, though. You see, it's just, it's so easy. Why is that firing into the ground? It's so easy to fucking avoid, though. I'm, I died. It's just so easy for them to avoid. The targeting system might be able to help, though. Because it's just so fucking easy for them to just say, and I dodged it. But this one has good everything. Chloe Anderson, how are you? Fine. We've got a hurricane coming up uh, yeah, over our heads right now, but um, I'm doing fine. So, let's see here. That one's weird, even though the missiles do track. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like you're supposed to manually aim that up into the air. Okay, let's try that again. And they're not tracking anything. Okay, that's very strange. Or maybe you should just be in the air. Maybe a quad leg build, build would be helpful here. Because you need those... Yeah, there you go. Not that those lock, though. That last one just kind of went, nah, go fuck yourself. 
There we go. But they're still detonating too. They're they're separating way too close to the target. Why? Because they're going. They're basically going around the, the target, and also just straight up not not tracking. Okay, what the fuck's going on there? Because, like, you see it, like, right? Because the missile fires, and then it breaks apart into multiple missiles. The only problem is, it's doing that, and just going around the target. Why? The back weapon has a longer lock time. You have to wait for the yellow bar to fill before firing. Oh, okay. We'll try that again, though. Because it seemed like it was showing me the lock times, but it's not showing me any more than two bars. Right? It's only showing me two. Oh, wait. There we go. Now you're fucked. Yeah, okay. I'm just an idiot. I didn't see the third bar. That one. That one right there. The one at fucking two, uh, one and two o'clock. That I didn't see. Now we're raining death. There we go. And the, 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 the left shoulder doesn't have a lock because it locks after launch, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, that works. Which chapter are you on? I am on chapter three of New Game Plus One. So we have beaten the game once, I chose the Fires of Raven ending, and now we're gonna go back and do the other ending, where we listen to the voice in our head, and not immediately call it a parasite or a psychotic condition. Shame about Cinder, though. Shame we're gonna have to kill her now, because the, the voice in our head said, uh, no, you've got to, cuz. Okay, so I, got, I had to calm down here, but ooh. Yeah, no, this, we can get that to work. I fired the, the, the upper missile too, uh, I, I shortchanged that one because I, I, uh, I shot before it appeared. Okay, that's, that's got a way. You want even more memes? Get this, get some quad legs and throw a double tomahawk launcher on the left side, Lamau. Yeah, right, the fucking dual slow as fuck tomahawk land attack missiles. <laughs> so, wait, hang on here. What if I use the sp specific... What if I use the, you know, like, the specific, you know, OS, or rather, the specific chip for missiles? And also, we don't have... We're also... Those aren't doing as much damage as they possibly could, because our explosive weapons is actually the least upgraded thing there. So, we'd have to retune that to go full in that direction. But I kind of wanted to see how well that would work, because it seems as though they've actually buffed missiles. To an extent. Right? Because missiles in Armored Core are just the first things that don't work against a boss that maneuvers very quickly, right? They just... And I dodge. That's just what they do. Now, they seem like they actually track properly. So, we want... Yeah, assembly. Right. Just thinking here. Okay, so... Okay, we want assembly, but we also want, since we're not using anything but missiles. We are using nothing but missiles. What is the best mi uh, missile lock correction, multi-lock correction? No, we want single target. We want single target death. Yeah. Multi-lock, we're dealing with MTs. They're not gonna dodge. The, the, the MTs are not a threat. So... Now, what would happen if we... Kind of exchange, you know, we should probably, yeah, we should probably try all the missile launchers here. I like the, <laughs> I like the missile case launcher, though, but there's the dual fucking tomahawk launchers. So, let's try that, and let's try the soup. And also, let's throw some quad legs on this, since I think this will actually probably do pretty good. Since I think my build is already optimized for... Acci or accidentally optimized for just being really good for quad legs with the generator output that we have. 
So let's just, uh... Okay, so what is load limit, jump height, jump distance? Okay, this model focuses on mobility and, and to enable hover-based fire support. Okay, so which one would be better for hovering? This this one has more stagger, but uh, uh, let's see here. We want... Which is the lower of the two? And it's the first one. Right? That gives us more quick boost, though. So... Hmm. Yeah, this is the light legs. That would see that would appear to be of the ones that we have, the superior one. Okay, so sortie AC test. So let's give this a whirl here. By the way, as I recall, the cluster missile launcher has a chance of swinging back around and cluster bombing again. Oh dear lord! <laughs> we should probably test that rigor rigorously to see how how practical that is. If we were doing just missile, missile, and more missile, which again. Should I get out of this with my mech, um, I will probably try and tinker around to make my, you know, my meme mechs. The you know, problem is we don't have a consistent laser weapon. The needle launcher is just, that's, that's just what Musketeer Wyoming is going to be, even though it might be just a cheese belt. But we don't have anything for Black November. We don't have continuous damage lasers. I don't have a, a laser pain ray, which is kind of a shame, or at least not now. Oh, you get one. Oh, good! The missiles are too slow and they're not really engaging him properly. Oh, right, no, this is the wrong missile launcher. I didn't put it on. Duh. Oh, I only bought the soup for the... Oh. Wait, no. This is just the wrong side. Yeah, what the fuck. No, no. That, that, that's what I did. I'm an idiot. I didn't buy the... Yeah. I am a dumbass. Oh, well, though. We saw it. It doesn't really work all that well. So let's com try it in combination with... Uh, not the detonating missile launcher... I guess we'll try it with a split missile launcher to see if that's actually that's energy energy shortfall. Too much. Okay, so what if we just no, almost though, but no. But okay, so what if we still got an energy shortfall, huh? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that hurts like a motherfucker. Let's see here. Ooh. They missed. No? No, that's pretty oppressive. Okay, then. So, the quad leg hovering missile fortress, that does work, and we can make the missile launchers better because that's explosive damage, and I don't have the OS chips for that yet. You're probably better just running two siege missile launchers in the hands, to be honest. Siege launchers are able to turn tight as fuck due to swapping. Interesting. I think they'll work fine, but we'll, t we'll test it anyway. Okay, so... I need to go to the parts shop and buy those other parts, so... Split missile...
We're out of money again. What a shame. Do we have enough for it? Okay, well, we have that one. Don't have enough for that one. We're just short, so hold on here. This we're gonna just stay away from. Because we know that that che that can work, but it's not exactly as fantastic as it could be in, you know, player versus, you know, the PvE situations. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try... Where's the missile launcher, Mansley? I bought it. Didn't I just... Am I going nuts? Did I buy or just sell the two of them like an idiot? Okay, no, there's one. Right. Did I just sell both of them? Because I'm retarded. I must have. I must have. Let's try these. Let's try two of those. To these. Well, let's compare with these, because... Well, these have actually... Well, actually, we want the hand launchers here. So, of the missile... 13 missiles, that's... 1,000 damage, and that's four missiles. So, that splits apart. Well, actually, that's that, that actually splits apart pretty early. That fires directly at the target. And that obviously does that, which may do more damage overall. But I think the split missiles, when they open properly, because of their attack pattern of coming in from every angle, it's very hard to avoid all of them, right? All right, if they all come from a sh you know, straight from you, they all go into a single fi they all go single file line towards the enemy, and he can dodge those. But if they go out in a star pattern, they might actually, even if he dodges any direction, one of them may still hit them. One or two may still hit. Okay, so let's see here. Let's bring in the AC. Okay, those flew directly into the ground. I might not have waited for them to lock properly, but... Um, so guys, the guy's back over there. Tomahawk land attack missiles, go back over there. Those are actually not that great. Okay. Well, there you go. A little, little bit of luck-based gameplay with those. At least when the enemy's point blank. Those are really not great for short range, depending on how the enemy behaves, I'm seeing. A little bit of luck there if they get really right up in your face. Sometimes they'll just fly directly into the guy and say, go fuck yourself. Other times they'll be like, um, can I get a mulligan or something like that? <laughs> it's funny when those work, though. Especially when they stand still like a bunch of morons. Those did not lock. That's, that's me. Those did not lock. Catch! Alright, those work. So, yeah. Missiles seem, and he just, he just dodged those the moment they come off the rails, even if those locked properly. So he can't just hot, he can't just immediately dodge those. The AI might be a stupid though and do some shit like that, right? He's trying to dodge you, but he won't see the missiles. Or right, rather, he won't regard the missiles.
and then unfortunately he will dodge sometimes and he will avoid the missiles. It's it's almost random, honestly. Let's not get hit by my own tomahawks. You see, it's almost random feeling, but... Okay, let's try it in the air, and maybe that'll help. That does seem to improve. Yeah, okay, that makes him a little bit more consistent. Yeah, no, you, you need to give him a little bit of space. Then, then they're on the bitch. But he can still dodge the last second. A little bit more consistent at fire from above, but unfortunately, it's it's not slow enough to make a hairpin turn like that. So it's, I would have liked it to be like, like a Nikita missile, where it's just slow as fuck. You know, it if it's going in a straight line, it accelerates really quickly, but if it's turning, it just slows down to a crawl and just kind of does this lazy turn and it hooks back into him. So it'll be, it'll, like, it, it just goes fast and then it slows down, turns fast again, turns when it loses the target or it's, you know, it's outside of its range, something like that. But th those, those are a little bit more bricks. Those are a little bit too bricky. Okay, so what about the, the cluster launchers? Just for the, just for the sake of amusement. Huh, let's see here. Well, hmm. The, this I don't think we're going to be using anytime soon. And the funnels, funny as they may, well actually, we may employ the funnels, I suppose, but I suppose the funnels are like level one, I am cheating. Granted, it's not the needle gun, but it, it's funnels. They're just funnels. Funnels play the game for you. That's why they're good. Okay, so we need to go buy them, right? Okay. Okay, and then I think we already have... No, we need to sell one more. Sell you, because I don't think we're going to be using those. <laughs> you got a coral missile. Hmm. Interesting. Cordium bombs. Whoop de doo. Okay, so what happens if we do, yo, know, double suitcase surprise here? I don't know if Goon has played AC4. Armored Core 4? I did, a long ass time ago. I don't really remember anything about it. But a long, long ass time ago. Alright, enemy settings. Um, so yeah, cluster missile. What gives, bro? Wow, those really don't do well in the air. What if I just drop down to low level here? Yeah, no, those are really bad in the air. And they will come back. How many, how many arc light runs? That's three arc, arc light runs. How, oh, they get a maximum of three launches? Holy shit. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty and absolutely deadly. The other one didn't come back though. Damn. 
they launch themselves upwards. They have a tendency of coming down, or rather just coming down in a straight line to overcorrect. So these are fire at ground level only. Or rather, same level. If you're in the air, and the enemy's in the air, they're probably okay. <laughs> Wait, you can... Oh, I see. You could bracket the enemy with those. You can zone that motherfucker with those if you plan for it. Interesting. You could force the enemy to maneuver into the second or third strike if you're, you know, if you can see where they're coming. Interesting. What do you mean double siege launchers? Oh, the, the Apertites. Oh, okay, those. I have to go buy the other ones. That's their official designation. Now, I think I have to go sell something to go buy the... Yeah, okay, I need a little bit more money. Hmm. Well, that's, again, cheese. We know that works. We may call upon that at some other point, but not now. Okay, so... Buy. We've got the one on the right arm. We need the one on the left arm. These are probably really good, because if you... you they just surround the enemy. And they're... Like, they'll just wait for the enemy to... They'll fire, and they'll probably trip up the AI while do while doing that. Because what they'll do is they'll fire, and then stand still in midair. And the enemy will... Like, the enemy's window to evade it properly is just gone, because... They're... They, the enemy... The AI is probably only really coded to... Duck attack... Initial attacks. He might dodge, though. Yeah, I could make some money testing by fighting one of the bosses, which is why we also need a boss rush mode. Yeah, okay. Here they come! The B-52s from Guam are back! Ooh, that's nice. Those didn't lock. Those didn't lock, though. Pretty! <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Siege launchers are just, are just so good at AI tracking. It would appear because... I think it's because they just game the AI's tracking... Yeah. They just game the AI's tracking, like, tendencies. Because you see, he'll just dodge the first strike. But he won't really be able to maneuver out of that if it's so slow. The delay is deadly. And the fact of the matter is that since you fire them off... Yeah, he's just not paying attention when you hit him like that. But you fire them off, and they will just 360-degree reorient around the target, too. They don't have a direction until it's defined by the second phase of the launch. So they're gonna be facing basically whichever fucking way you want them to be facing. So if they dodge the initial launch, it doesn't mean that it's shot trashed. So, like, yeah. They'll just follow his ass like that. And here come the B-52s again. <laughs> That's a- th that is kind of what I wanted when I said Nikita Missile. Yeah, no, that works. did not lock properly. AP 
Those did not lock on properly either. He dipped out of the lock range. You can somewhat, you know, brain dead play that. All right, interesting. So we have missiles work. If you want to specialize in missiles, missiles work, which I think is somewhat uncharacteristic of Armored Core, at least as I, at least if I, as I have played it. Because to me, missiles are the first thing that the AI just says no, but these seem to be specialized to catch the AI in their shit. So, huh. But so, I don't think I saved my decal, so I think we have to go put something back on, but let's see here. Yep. Just a small touch. Hmm. Yeah, core. Just a little something that felt right. And I figured out that you can actually make text fairly small. But, man, does this not really like this small text? This one, at least you can read, unlike the other writing that's literally too small to read. But I know it's there. And so that's good enough. Feels like a good thing to slap on the nose of an aircraft, right? Felt right. But now, that doesn't really help our current build, unfortunately. I kind of want to go back to the Moonlight Blade, because that was actually, you know, bread and butter up until, you know... Sea Spider and his energy resistance. So if we go, if we roll down to Magnums, we probably have enough energy to. No, we don't. Hmm. Oh right. We also have to change the targeting computer as well. Actually, no, that's already set up. Okay, so what are we missing? Oh wait a minute, I think we were using something other than that. Yeah, right. No, we were using the SMGs. And then we can actually, funny enough, you can, you can have one or the other, or we were using something else entirely as well. Okay, so what I wanted to do before I went off and I, I went for missile missiles and more missiles, um, one, of, one I wanted to do was I wanted to examine which primary weapon we can get on a single hand and what that means for knock. Because I figured the default rifle is actually pretty okay at generating knock. And is not terribly hard, you know, terribly hard on anything. But so, linear rifle. Actually, the linear rifle has two, four, five, two, eight, five, sixty-four, hundred and twenty, slightly less. Forty-eight-four less as well. 360, but AP goes to shit with that, sadly. That doesn't really feel any really effective at all, though, granted, style points for giant fucking spaz. Then there's a Zimmerman, which we know is meta. Bazookas, which, again, we know bazookas work. I would almost trust the can the grenade launchers more because the projectiles are at least faster. The only problem is we can't fit that shit on this build. <laughs> okay, stun bomb launcher? Is that exactly Yeah, actually that is more stun. Hey! Alula tw yeah, I know about the Alulas. Somebody notified me of that, but I like the PO4s because, well, they we can we we get a little bit more energy room here, and the really the thing is you get better response time for uh, you know and better quick boost cooldown, but uh, the the PO4s will throw you a little farther, so it's almost comparable, but you would probably want the quicker boost cooldown. Okay, so 288. Eight. 245, which, okay, hard to avoid it, too. Okay, wait, eight. 405, I should say. And then, you know, the pulse guns, which 
I don't think really do really anything well, aside from anti-shield. Hmm. So there really doesn't seem to be anything that stands out aside from what I already have on hand. Though, there is this, which would have... Well, actually, it, does, it only has 82 knock. So, hmm. Minigun, unfortunately. We can't go full Metal Wolf Chaos, sadly. It's too heavy. Hmm. Man, we can't even mount half the shit I own. Though, having the aperitif there, knowing how effective it is, what can we fit aside from that? Can I get a deagle here? No, I can't. E well, actually, I can get the sampoo in there. Can I get anything else in there? No. So... That is a fairly competent weapon. Hmm. Granted, it looks like a giant fucking dildo or a giant piece of corn, I suppose, depending on which part of your brain is working here today. <laughs> but, okay, so... Well, actually, if we're going to do that, we'll just go down here and use this one. Which is... I'm good at everything! Yeah, and shortfall. Does that does that FCS calls an energy shortfall of all goddamn things? It does. By an incredibly minuscule amount. Fucking eight points. Eight points. I mean, can we get anything? It actually we can get something in here, but the only problem is we sacrifice. Some, actually. We'd actually sacrifice some capacity, which means our quick boost. We could go full cordium reactor. <laughs> or coral reactor. Granted, we again, we lose capa- Actually, uh... Aww. Granted, that gives us a whole lot of space. It's heavy as fuck, though. But it gives us... just about as much capacity overall. You use, lose the mass of regen. Yeah, unfortunately, we lose the regen in that capacity. So we get that, but we also lose the regeneration, which is kind of the best part about that reactor, or rather our setup here, because we can zombie and just kind of just get a, a little bit of energy back as we, you know, as the engine kicks back over. It's the Moonlight Blade. It's, uh, it's, it's unfortunately the Moonlight Blade. It's too big of an energy draw. So if we go to any other melee weapon, whoop de doo we suddenly have energy. That's, well, aside from that, the dagger, the stun baton, uh, the pile, well, those are, those are just energy overloads, too, so it looks like, well, of all of these, I suppose the laser dagger is also, it's just comparable, it's acceptable for what it is, it does enough damage, and it is effective, granted, it's not the moonlight meme, but then again, we're not really going to be using this, right? We're going to be using the coral one we get later, because that's just going to obsolete this, or rather provide something, uh, you know, a, a curveball with probably a higher energy load. It's probably going to be better, and again, the, Kuros the Kurosawa is going to be the same fucking way. So we'll bring, we'll bring out the laser dagger, I suppose, and we'll see how this works out going forward. Okay, so... Right, so... Design. Data. Save. I also want to test something counter to what we're doing right now. 
but we'll have to wait on that, I guess, for more parts. I want to see how far you can push anti-stagger. Like, how durable can we get to stagger? How much of that... How much can we push, yo, know, attitude stability and just ignore stagger? And how much can we... How much do we have to sacrifice to get that and how effective it is? That's something I also want to test. Because I think that would be level one building against the meta. The Coral one is better at light combo, but it's worse at charge hit. But you never really want to use the charge hit anyway. Aside from me, because I'm me. Haha. You need to get Hunter rank 14 for that. We're getting there, though. We, we're going to be hunting around for parts. So, like, okay, so with the testing phase done. Okay, so hang on here. Let's, before we do that, replay mission. Where's our part? At? There's logs here. Well, we go back now. So, we'll skirt around, I suppose, but where are the logs here? Because this is a new mission. Looks like switching sides of Galia left an impression on the Liberation. So this is the helicopter escort mission, but where are the logs here? I'll tell you where it is. Please, because, again, the game's hiding parts from us. I wish the game to stop actually throwing parts at it. Yo, hiding parts from us. Clear the first landing area. Got it. Can that lock on to multiple targets, or it's just it's just one? Yeah, no, it's just one. But that's fine, though. We know what we know. We know why we have that. Okay, there's a big dam up on your left. Where you spawn, and there's a fat Let's MT up there. Huh? Of to the Six, two, one. The spawn area. to my left. Over there? Okay, so we came this way, so up on my left. Over here. There he is. I'm okay. Well, wherever the hell it's there he is. A little rest, and I'll pay back. I might fuck this up. Ow, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm all over the place today. I might fuck this up. Yeah, no, we're fucking this up. There's no way we're me we're getting through the end of this mission like this. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. I, I, now that we now that there's no fucking around now, we've got this. Yeah, I know. You, you, you want to get rid of the first, uh, yo, LZ worth of enemies and then go get the MT up there. Okay, that should... Okay, that should be enough. And it's right over there. Ow. 
Bad time to use that, sadly. A little toasty, but we're all right. Still alive, at least. A little rest, and I'll pay you back. Heading for the next site, Raven. Keep us covered. Two repair kits remaining. I got kicked off by the rotor blades. Oops. Oh. Wrong button equipped. Wrong weapon equipped. Gotta double check that shit. Though I will say that the... The siege missile launcher not being able to lock is somewhat annoying, but we just say that it's a very slow... But very reliable single attack, you know, single target weapon. Oh. This is not going as well as before. Jesus, guys. Ah, no, that's gonna. I have to speed run this. I can't really just sit behind. I have to know because this was going far better before. The only problem is now it's gonna eat shit when it gets attacked at the end of the mission. All right, Hikari, if it's annoying then sure, fine. I'm doing this just to grab the log and so we can move on here, but this one might be a bitch because suddenly I'm not as good. I'd like to fire the... Oh, I'm out of ammo, that's why. But the problem is, he doesn't have enough hit points now. Okay. The fucked up thing is, man, it's just... I just don't seem to have what I need for a build that is just generally acceptable, at least not right now. I'm gonna have to drop the Afriki, because that's not really working out too well. We did this with a normal fucking rifle, too, I think. I'm not quite sure what I'm missing here, but... There's just something we don't, there's something we don't have currently that was really effective beforehand. It might have been the missile launchers. 
But this is definitely a mission where we need to shit can enemies as quick as possible. Get overburdened. What a surprise. However, what we could do is we could lighten the load a little bit. Somehow. Now, aside from the stun launcher. Maybe shortfall. Do we have anything on here? Do I have any, any weapons here? You know what, honestly? Melee weapon... Well, we do... Well, actually... We don't need the missile launcher if we have the Moonlight Blade. The Moonlight Blade is a ranged weapon. Yep. Yeah, and shortfall. But, hmm. I guess we can just kind of stop pretending to use this as well, because we can also just go back to the Abbot, which is what we're using most of the time anyway. Just drop the stun gun for this mission. No, I think we'll do fine. Because it's just MTs. I just need something that's really good at popping MTs. Yeah, no. Nothing there. Fine. I'll run I'll one I'll run one shot under. Or one slot under. We'll be fine. Now we'll just be fine. The only problem is we actually have to we, ha we still have to get that log, remember? Main system. Remember? Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Okay, so they're gonna send a helicopter over here, and then as soon as we shit can said helicopter, there it is. It's literally right over there. And now with that space, is there another one? There's another one. There were two. Now with that space bought. Use the fucking... Punish him with the needle launcher, if anything. There we go. We don't really need a fourth weapon, do we? It'd be nice, but we don't really need it. Time to use a weapon that makes you stand still. Those got eaten by a wall. Sometimes you just need a little help from your good old buddy the pallet rifle. <laughs> Be 
because think of it this way. The Moonlight Blade is a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. So it's two weapon systems in one. So do I really need a fourth weapon? Maybe if I wanted to game stagger as hard as I possibly could, but we already have the needle launcher making everything a joke. So... Do I really need more than that? Maybe not. Any day now. Escorting a prison break all along. You're daring. Give me that. I fried bigger fish than you. It's gone too, Nile. I'm not stepping out of it. But the brain is too weak. It's possible. It's too dangerous to force our way through. Raven, secure the escape route. Okay, there isn't any more. I thought there was another chopper left. There isn't. God damn it. Granted, we needed to use a couple more, you know, we should be a little bit more judicious about using the stun gun rounds, unless we absolutely need to. But we've got plenty of our AR ammo to get through shit like that, so maybe, yeah. Confirmed. The chopper has exited the combat zone. Maybe the, Mission maybe the answer was just the default rifle, huh? Raven, a symbol huh. of resolve. But mark my words, there will be nothing left but dying embers. Maybe the answer was just the default rifle. The people trying to rely on stun gun as a cr uh, on stun gun crutch in PvP is beyond hilarious, though. The second it doesn't land a hit, they have zero clue what to do. Well, the problem is you can force it to not you, you can force it to hit by just gaming the targeting system. However, it is part of the meta, and if you lean on it and get hit by it, you fucked. It's kind of the first thing you have to dodge too. So you can see it coming. If you see it coming. But you see, here's the thing. Are, do you really, are you, are you really surprised? Cause the gun, the game teaches you that shit's the crutch. That is the crutch. It gives you a giant run warning when it's about to fire. Yes, but you can still get really so fucking close that you could zap somebody. I mean, if you get hit by PV, hit by it in PVP, you misplayed massively. Sure, but I'm, you know what, I don't really care about PvP meta anyway, I know it's mostly garbage and an absolutely infuriating thrill ride for all things. I don't really give a shit. Until I get something worthy of replacing it, I already know that the game is just, hey, build, stagger. 
by any means necessary. And even if I take that thing off, I need to replace it with something or a collection of weapons that does the same thing. Or I'm not playing the game right. I mean, I've been messing around in image editor and attempted to make a server icon. Want to see it? Sure. But also every long range weapon gives you a ra yo, it gives you a warning. It's not exactly shocking uh, that, you know, that it does that. But as King showed us that, yo, the, yo, in, in the arena, yeah, no, you can make that shit not miss if you're really gaming it. Some people may not be gaming it. Maybe they'll just expect it to play the game for them. But I suppose it's still a nightmare if you really hyper-specialize into using it. You can avoid it, but if it hits you, oh, is it gonna ruin your fucking day? Hmm. Okay, so what we could do is, okay, so how many... Human of Impact... Recoil, ideal range, adjustment effective range. Right, we get a little bit more effective range. Magazine, rounds, it's magazines. It's kind of excessive, so we could use the Scudder to just to see exactly how far we can go with this. If we run into ammo problems with the Scudder, we know just use the default rifle in this build. That seems to be it. Then you just pulse armor and stagger them back, and they die before it reloads because PvP is dumb. Yeah, Hakari, I think you summarized the every you summarized everything. And also, I should probably be using pulse armor now. Now that I'm seeing that, because you know what, I think that would be incredible, incredibly effective. And you know what, I ain't got that, so uh, I'd kind of like that. But we'll be getting more arena parts. We'll go get it. We'll go we'll be getting more OST chips and arena parts, so it won't be too long. So anyway, okay, aside from that mission, when's our next next log hunt? Oh, that mission. That's much later. So we're clear to we're clear to proceed. Got a job for you, 621. Did you get the DM? It's a request from I don't have Discord open, but I'll look at it later. Because that log is weird as fuck. We'll see. But again, I think that PvP is just going to be a collection of cheeses. Because that's really all it ever was. So I like the AI arena because the AI is forced to have, like, weaknesses and eccentric personalities. Normal players aren't that interesting. You may think that the arena showcases... You know, PvP combat, but it kind of doesn't. It really, really doesn't. You, Almost always, that kind of, like, setup is never as actually, you know, good or as interesting or as en enjoyable as actually fighting other people. So it's kind of a fun lie. Six, two, one. Are you still hearing things? Tell me if it happens on the job. I'll make adjustments. Also, as you can see, I, I added the decal to the back of the shoulder, too, because we're staring at that way often than way more often than the front. I feel like we should have had a couple of more scenes in the hangar launch sequences as we kind of flip around to look at your mech to, you know, get all those money shots. One v one is meta spam, as expected. Three v three is a cluster fuck, also as expected. Two v two is like perfect for actual team fighting, but is. It's not in the game because they probably didn't think they'd want to. It seems like like multiplayer is somewhat of an afterthought, but they probably didn't think uh, they probably thought three v three was more interesting because like, I think I I could see that there's so much shit going on in that clusterfuck that three v three is probably more interesting, or they thought it more, was more interesting than two v twos. So I kind of see what what's going on there, but yeah, no one v one is a fucking stagger duel for crew to, crew to gras moves. Most likely. It's just, who gets the instant kill move off first and successfully completes it? That's it. It's a samurai duel. Both combatants draw their swords. One of them falls down. That sounds interesting, but in this type of game, you could do so much more, but they, they, you know, they, they, it doesn't really amount to that. 
3v3, for the sake of there being so many more people, it probably won't just end instantly. So you probably have an area for, like, somewhat interesting things to happen. All right, I have to go touch that. I don't really need the stun needle launcher if I... I, I just don't. I, I, I don't. The rifles have more than enough ammo to do that. Also, that did not actually complete because it's so fucking slow. Okay. At 1v1, it's just new, use the new meta. Purge all weapons and ape out. Yeah, right. It's just use all weapons, you know, all metas, and if that fails, you, internet fight. Just start punching people. <laughs> Which is probably funny as hell, but probably not that entertaining most of the time. Which is, you know, kind of, you know, it's a shame that we, you know, we, we get so hyper-focused on, you know, PvP being the apex of all things. So we can't have entertaining things to do in our giant robots that aren't player versus player combat. Like I said, you know what'd be nice? What if we had a score attack mode that was akin to Ace Combat Infinity, where two squads, uh, you know, face off, uh, uh, you know, against each other indirectly to see, to see who can steal the most fucking kills. That would be more interesting than my meta build is better than your meta build. Oh yeah? Fight me! Both of them use assault armor and instantly stagger each other, and then they start punching each other. It's probably good for a webcomic or a, you know, a YouTube poop or something like that, but it's probably not actually interesting to play. But that's all it really is. And remember, back in the old days of Armored Core 1, really, you play Master of Arena, which a section of the arena is dedicated to player-built builds and tournament builds that they hosted. And really, all it, all it really amounts to is my Kurosawa build is better than your Kurosawa build. That's really it! That's quite the magnum dong you stopped on there. It's just strapped on there. Yeah, it's it, it's the crutch, sir. I can't walk. It's my crutch. Oh. That guy was just sitting there, mesmerized. That's a fucking tetrapod. Now we use the stun gun for something other than just fucking shell. Donk, 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 donk. Okay. That's three. I also beat the Rubicopter first try and I didn't get filtered. I uh, shot it and it died. It can be easy depending on what you're doing, but I kind of wanted to push the melee thing and try to figure out exactly like the flaws of that. So I fucked up. But I persisted, and it only took me, like, what, three tries to not fuck it up? It's probably really easy to beat if you play it super duper safe. Like, Sharklet apparently accidentally started standing underneath it and shooting at it, and that was all it really took. Even the have but, you know, the people who get filtered by it just kind of face rolling them for, you know, you can't just fly at it, sh you know, shooting at people. You know, you can't just fly at it shooting, you know, at it and expect to win. Those people who were fun of the game and rage quit after that, the Again, it's the Raven Test. It's the Raven Test. You beat it, it was easy? Well, congratulations, I guess you were I guess you were destined to be a Raven then. Those other people? I, again, flightless birds, they're dodos. We're Ravens, they're dodos, end of story. sluggish, so I suppose maybe I just want the normal one, but having a little bit of extra knock and AP against things like tetrapods is helpful. Reload! 
to... At that point, I should just throw out the moonlight. Again, that's my fourth weapon. It's also my third weapon. This should be the last one. But I don't want to waste it. I want to. I, I want to coup de gras people. But no, nope, there's utility in that, and that's why I don't. And of course, it's I'm being limited, so I'm limiting myself by trying to use it. So I better use it to its best. Of, be, you know, use it to it, the best of my abilities, right? I better make that shit go. Okay then. For example, like that. Ow! Bop, bop, bop. Born too early to be a Raven pilot. Born too late to be a World War II fighter race with the call sign Raven. Yep. Again. Well, guys, I guess you're just... I, 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 I guess you're just destined to be Betamax forever if you can't beat a fucking helicopter. Volteus is an asshole, but now I've got the skills to... I've got the know-how and the equipment to just shit-can him, so I can just sit there and enjoy his OST. I like his boss theme. But now that I can- now, now I can very easily beat him doing really almost no work, I can enjoy the music. However, some people have unfortunately quit the game yeah, after not being able to beat him. But come on, guys. You guys do this shit? You slam your heads against the fucking wall to beat bosses in Elden Ring and other Souls-like games and our giant robot game makes you flip the table and leave? Come on! You're just not fucking applying yourselves. It's hard, but that don't mean you should give up. Come on now. Again, people played fucking Dark Souls and Elden Ring games with fucking bongo drums and DDR dance pads. You're gonna tell me you can't beat a, you can't beat Bubble Boy, or you can't sit there, you can't bear to sit there long enough to beat Bubble Boy. It's not that hard. Do you just have to like, fucking chase him around with a pulse gun, failing everything else? But hey, let's shit. Let, let's go shit can a friggin' in about three seconds. Ow! I thought I dodged that, but okay. Um, you know what? How about I just hop back over here and just um wait for the PCA to show up? Cause I hear the police on the horizon. Yep. Yep, the police are here. I still managed to take a hit, but the police are here. Wait a minute, can I? It's identifying as PCA. Oh, come on! I can't just go up there and immediately shit can it. Damn! You survive for a couple of more minutes, Salamis. Sniper. You! Alright. Oh, that's him. God damn. Oh, right, there's two of them. That's the move. That's actually the target. I was trying to avoid... Sh I wanted to get rid of his fucking health first. Ow. Okay. Right, well, we should probably get out of the way of those. We don't want to get hit with those, but it's displaying its ability to, to like, kind of do stuff. You know what? Who needs your asses? 
Hi, Fetties! Hey, I'm half red. It's going to blow. Get clear, 621. Zombie. <laughs> now the game starts to feel cool and isn't a Dark Souls game. Great. Fantastic. I am happy. Anyone who gave up isn't a true fan, fan of Souls because the whole point of Souls is, is was literally to endure a fight or go away and build yourself up to come back to it. But as soon as someone sees robots, apparently they can't, like, extend this logic to anything else. I don't... The coast is clear. It sounds like they just were disappointed that, oh, we didn't get another Elden Ring, now we have this foofy go robot game that I don't have any, any investment in. Ah! But, again, fuck them. They're dodo birds. We're ravens. We have taste. They're NPCs. They're not even fun NPCs. Good talking. You're talking about bongo drums and DDR dance pad. Reminds me that... Reminds me of this FF14 player that made a book controller for two of the classes in the game. Book controller? Explain book controller. How many fucking buttons? Because I know, again, MMO. Lots of buttons. Looks like we got a little too eager, 621. No, no, sir. Now it's a fight. That's a fair number of friggins. I want to know who decided it was a good idea to generalize the entire PCA fleet. Like, why is there no flagship fight? Probably because the space the space station that we just kind of ignore through the entire game is their flagship. And think about this. They have to plan a terror they have to blockade effectively an entire system. You need to go wide with that shit. So that's probably why they have such large cheap frigates. It's sufficient for shit canning anybody who isn't a fucking raven or an AC pilot, to an extent. But apparently, four fucking hackers blitz the fucking, you know, blitz the, the blockade and made it in. That's Branch, apparently. From the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. Uh, I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. You writ in it to cast spells. Oh, so it's a bunch of... It's a bunch of complex macro, macros. Interesting. Now it's laying down the law already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state, too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archivist Group. We could use the wall climber's help. Yeah, just put me up in the upper atmosphere with, a, you know, a mobile armor. Like, just give me a couple of rocket boosters and get me into the upper atmosphere so I can ride all that coral for infinite energy. I'll take out the whole fucking fleet myself, man. I'll do it. One new message. So, yeah, that's a very interesting way of doing it, but, yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of complex macros that you input with a... You know, I've been a, contacted as well. a, a you know, what you will call it, a tablet, which is Since neat. Both sides have been forced to halt the coral survey. That's a, at least a very artful way of doing it. But it's probably a whole, it, you know, granted, it's probably complicated to set up, but think of it this way. I can write a single word, and I can trigger a, mac a macro that causes the game to seek, you know, press three abilities in sequence. It's probably a bitch and a half to set up, but again, macro play. It's probably a whole lot more enjoyable to use than it is to actually set up. But good showmanship, nonetheless. This job comes from their commander. Okay, so now we, we, it's the, su it's the assassination mission where we will not let Swinburne go because fuck him. And we still don't have, we, we don't have any more arena fights yet. Man, that, those are slow going. Yep. 
It's here. But, okay, so... Mental Sabotage Decision. Tech Refueling Base. Salvage of New Tech. Okay, so we have a decision here. Okay, so that's new. Actually, no, this is old. So it's this mission, this mission, this mission. That is new. But this is a decide mission? So we can, I guess we could just ignore that. Because we've already done that. That's, we go into the tunnel, we blow up the thing and have to run away. And then we come back and we, uh, we learn that, uh, Coral, i.e. the souls of the damned, can reanimate electronics and drive giant robots like zombies. Which... That one's saved for the Necronica campaigns if I need to just bring... If I need mechanical zombies. Ha 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 The souls of the damned possess these rusted hulks. They thirst for vengeance! Okay, so I guess we'll do this one. Because the other two are... They're, they're not important yet, anyway. This is Middle Flatwell, Liberation huh. Front Central Icefield Command. Subasa, huh? We and the Bellius Command are ramping up against the corporations on two fronts. At present, our primary concern is the seizure of PCA hardware by the corporations. Oh. The outsiders have the expertise and the resources to reverse engineer PCA technology. But do you? Hungry, too. hungry enough to consume the PCA whole. As the corporal or as the corporals do. This leads me to my request. The PCA have stationed LCs and a new model, the HC, at the Yalmar mine. So how are we gonna I want you to obliterate them in order to mitigate the potential for corporate gains? But sir, what if we what if we take Raven, the spacer tech for ourselves? But, great leader, what if we take the spacer tech for ourselves? Okay. So this looks like it's... It sounds like it's going to be the fight that's in the space center early. It's exceptionally rare to get a direct request for liberation from leadership. Like... Perhaps the situation has changed their attitudes, too. I feel like as soon as... There probably should have been another, a third shot there with the launch sequence, where when it turns and goes onto the track to go forward, it switches to a front view of your mech. That probably would have been nicer for, again, money shots. Because we just kind of look at the weirdest angles of our mech the entire time, don't we? We rarely get time to appreciate it elsewhere. Aside from, you know, people who bring up photo mode every five seconds, like we're playing Genshin Impact or something. No. I did not see his missiles, but oh well. Ah, it's on a gantry, huh? I guess we should probably shit can it before it wakes up. HC detected. It's an enforcement machine specialized. We're under attack. Well, then it woke up. Get the HC online now. Whoa! And he's got three fucking melee. He's got it. Well, no, he's got even more. Good lord, melee attacks out the ass. More than a match for some patchwork AC. Patchwork? Sir, I worked very hard on this. Ow, 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 ow. I'd like to use my medkit today, please. Ow. Yep. A million years of range with that melee. Ow. Take it out. 
Ow. Yeah, no. I'm not moving fast enough. I'm not dodging enough attacks. I had to use all my medkits back there. I should probably get terminal armor now, because it feels like that would be the crutch thing that I would need in that sort of situation. But I'm just not moving fast enough. That's my bad. Sorry. I, hey, did you know that I've played the game for, like, over 30 hours within the span of, like, five days? Yesterday and the day before were 10 hour streams. So sorry if I look a little bit fatigued. I'm enjoying myself, but I might be slowing down a bit. Might need a break. Terminal armor is ash, just pulse armor. Yeah, pulse armor. One out of two. Terminal armor is just saving throw at the last second. Something for you to, you know, give you time to pop your med kits, I guess. Okay, let's try the other one then. Because the other that guy is Melee a Palooza. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, see. So Enemy attack. Oh. It's not a red gun or a vesper. We've got an independent. Code 7 8. Where the fuck? Enemy threat level unknown. Understood. I'll head over as soon as the HD is threat. Dead. Uh, Code 3 1 8. Chief Sergeant down. But I was the best, says the dying servant. Your support units are what's bothering me. Come on. Come on, come out of your hidey hole so Ah oh, Christ. Go to three, attending C. What? They got the LCs. I knew this was a bad time for me. God damn it. Stagger, 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 stagger. So that's what happens when you're too slow. The game's pushing you to go faster and faster, but then you just have to bring more stagger. Okay, so that's doable. We just have to go really fucking fast with it, which we can. So those are our two choices. But then honestly, it's probably better if we just shit can the LC, or rather the HC, in its gantry. Granted, it's a fucker, but it's not actually that bad. We just have to avoid its massive melee attack. Avoid the melee attack, says Fonto, while walking right into it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just out bullshit you then. off a shield. Ow. Dodge that! Huh? Put that in your fucking shield, huh? Get your ass down here. I need to recharge my booster for a second. Get your ass down here. Thanks, Aftershock! Zap! <laughs> it, this is the crutch, but I'm fine with having it. You fight like a bird in flight. We'll have better crutches. You may yet fly higher. Beyond Rubicon's scorched skies. To chase the freedom we never knew. 
once the game gives me all of the parts to do that. Also, what the... <laughs> I thought that... I the, thought that MT over there was about to and hero down the fucking strip mine. But okay. Job's done. But as you see... The stun gun's really effective, but the thing is, if I replace it with something, I'll need to be doing the same thing. So I might as well do this, really. Raven, I've been thinking about what Little Flatwell said. To fly beyond Rubicon's scorched skies and chase the freedom we never knew. The others are so used to fighting and shouting slogans that they've given up thinking. NPCs a lot of them. But Flatwell, he's exploring the potential for something new. But, uh... But what more than what more could it be than fighting and dying, and making money, lots of money? But yeah, so like I keep saying, while yes, the the needle gun is cheese, I'll just be replacing it with some other form of cheese. It may be a more unique form of cheese, but at the end of the day, why not just use what e what's easy then? And then, in you know, regards to this, because I'm just gonna be stagger cheesing by any other means. So why does save it for when we actually have all the parts, and then we can make we, we can choose the and you know uh, something from the colorful rainbow of cheese because that's what it's all that's what the whole game is. It's stagger the enemy, do a shitload of damage while they're staggered because you do a one hundred percent crits and kill them as fast as possible. And if you don't kill them in the first stagger, rotate back and try and do it again. That's the whole game. There's no real slugging matches aside from that. That's how fights are decided. Who gets the stagger and who does more damage in those moments of stagger. And so at the end of the day, what's the difference between a needle gun and doing anything else aside from like imaginary heroism? We're all just trying to build stagger on the enemy to then do, do the lethal damage to kill them. We're all following the same strats, so why bother? Yes, it's a philosophical point about why we fight and why we fight and fight for. Counterpoint, money, <laughs> but currency. Are you really so simple-minded that you would ignore uh, a higher, you know, higher callings and intellectual, you know, debates for just currency? Yes, because ideals don't take the place of meals. As uh, Mr. Tom Lehrer would say, when you get older, maybe, then you will see. It's so nice to have integrity. I'll tell you why. If you really have integrity, that means your price is very high. <laughs> okay, there's a log here. Okay, so now we're doing assassinating Swinburne. So where is the log in this ridiculous thing? Let's take a look at the request. So now we're going to just kill Swinburne. Because apparently we're playing nice nice with the Liberation this run. Because we just decided to not do that, period. It's just killing Swinburne. Okay. Right. Succeed, you must not be spotted. So yeah, it does look like on you to handle this discreetly. It does look like they kind of they kind of expected you to ignore the liberation front the first time. And now via the bonus missions that we're getting and m my actions, we're now leaning more in line with the uh, you know, with the liberation front. We're playing nice nice with the rebels. They better keep fucking paying though. I did see the IR ending first. Well, we'll we'll see about that one. No spoilers though. We just burnt we burnt it all down. We pl we blasted come Sussertad and rammed a spaceship into the giant fucking oh, into a giant nuclear reactor. Go us. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. 
But he's not over there, though. Uh oh. Wow, okay. Okay. We didn't we do that the first time though? Odd. Uh, okay, try it again. Oops. Didn't we just do that the first time though? I'm pretty sure we just kind of skated right through this the first time. You're on the side killing everything. Oh well, okay. Oh god damn it. Well done. I'll handle it from here. He's gonna come fight us. But I suppose it's we, we don't confirm our identities. That's that's what it is. We have to do it without, you know, the enemy knowing it's us or they won't give us any contracts anymore. But the game is, of course, limiting us in a really odd, just really annoying way. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press triangle and then the... Again, how does this really change the mission? I really hate these, oh, you can't raise the alarm thing, because I was gonna kill everyone anyway. What the fuck? I meant to press tri I meant to press Y and then the right trigger to reload the gun. That was, so that was my mistake. But man, you can't, you have to be really quick on the draw there. Four stealth in a mech game. Yeah, I know, right? This is what I want to do in my mech game, right? And I... I swear, just go around, fucking Jesus. I had a way easier time the first time with this, but all right, come on. You raised the alarm, snake, game over. Wait, that never actually happened. Fucking God. Why is that guy picking me up now? Why are they, why are those guys picking me up now? Jesus fucking Christ almighty. They said some shit if, like, if they found that, then they put the hammer down at the Liberation Front. Well, what the fuck are they gonna suspect when, when one of their commanders, you know, in charge of concentration camps just winds up fucking dead? Gee, I wonder who did it. No, it must have been the Red Guns. Okay, we reloaded. And then they just don't track me for several seconds? Okay. Then the AI just had a moment in a conniption there because I guess what I did is I stepped behind one of the mechs and they couldn't see me. I mean, okay. But the thing, he's not here. We already know where he is, but the, the game put a massive invisible wall. You know, be, you know, it would be nice if the game was like, okay, so you already know where he is, so we're not going to stop you, but if you didn't know, you would just have to go through the entire map to go find him. But he's over there, though. So if you already knew that, we won't, we're not going to bother you with, you know, playing this mission again. But, again, Dark Souls game design. Oh, no, that's got to be difficult! Even if you know the answer. Yeah, gee, I wonder. Look over there. I've detected an AC in combat mode. That must be so Balaam killed him. It's them, them dastardly Balaam. They never lived. That Daifung, that, 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 uh, 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 that, you know, that, somewhat, you know, partner, you know, connected partner. Yeah, 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 yeah corporation. It's those guys. Stop that! Dare you attack me with my back turn? 
I want to kill you? I wasted your pulse armor, though, kid. Thanks, Jesus. If nobody got me, I know Jesus got me with those fucking targeting corrections. The Jesus computer. You know, a, a boss that's fun to kill because he's such a spineless fuck. Annoying for stealth mission, though. I think he could have accepted it and still shot him, you know. He probably would have still run away. But I let him... I, I, I was gonna keep shooting him, but then I saw he activated the pulse armor, and I'm like, I'm gonna just let him waste that. And then shoot him. <laughs> but we made the other choice. So what now? Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Some of us were worried that the enemy might have won you over. But it seems we can trust you after all. Glad to be on the same side. I'm a mercenary though, so I chose all the options. We're only doing this because now we have to go do something new, and plus their check bounds. I had to come back and kill him. And now let's attack the refueling base, which, since we have that log now, we're log 11. Well, we're Hunter 11. We're about halfway there, I think. So, where's the next log? It's here, actually. And then eliminate Honest Brute down there, which... Well, I guess we'll get- we'll try and get the log as efficiently as- Oh, wait, no, now I- Wait, no, didn't I get that before? It's the Tetra- It's the te Oh. No, I got the Tetrapod kill, so what the fuck? There must be a little more log enemies there. I mean, no, we're gonna switch back to this, because I wanna- I wanna- I, I, We're gonna switch back to the normal rifle, because the Scudder is okay, but I kind of thought that uh, the, uh, the- Just the basic rifle was actually better performing, so we're gonna double check that. It comes down to, like, rate of fire, I think? Still cutting through the second- uh, through to the second ending, are we? Yes, we took a moment to test Missile Hell. It works. It, we'll consider it later. We can- we do- I- I have an effective weapon set for missiles. If we- if we so choose. But not now. The basic hey, rifle is under- under- underrated. I think so. Because it has more than enough ammo to get you through anything, and it seems pretty okay. They want you to attack the Jorgen refueling base, a PCA foothold on Rubicon. So there's my heroism. I'm using the basic rifle and the needle gun. The target is this kind the of plant this kind of showcases how easy the needle gun is, so you don't even have to do Take anything. And, well, you don't need other weapons if you have the least. needle gun. The basic rifle just fulfills a, a, a niche purpose. Recently, well, the niche purpose of just murdering people. You don't need anything bases. else. And yes, the Karasawa comes soon. I want you to be a walking advertisement for opportunities and destruction. Alright, the logs for this are all over the place, by the way. There's like five LCs in the lakes area, and one is up near 
some damn way off to the right of to, on a ledge. Right, okay. Kill them all? Kill them all. Walking advertisement. You're not their mascot, 621. Just focus on getting the job done. We don't even need the money anyway, so we're just here for the logs. But we will probably wind up killing literally everyone doing so. See, you don't really need much more than that. It's perfectly fine. You want to use other weapons to be theatrical, though, but you don't really... The, the, the rifle itself is... This is definitely the kind of basic weapon that was tuned to be good through the entire game. Like, a developer took it upon themselves to say, I'm going to playtest our entire game using only the stock equipment to see if it's possible. And it probably is. They probably made sure it was. And that probably dictated how good the starting equipment was. I should probably get stopped getting hit in the face with the missiles, though. I don't really have that much health. Someone's gonna make a Raid Shadow Legends decal for, for an ad, I just know it. Yeah, no, someone would probably work on that one. You might get sued by for doing that, though, because you're technically using somebody else's game to advertise another game. But, well, I'm a streamer too, so if the money's good, though I don't actually play Raid Shadow Le Legends, the other somewhat suspect kind of, you know, the only suspect game I might actually like, advertise for, if asked, is Modern Warships, however, it's just because it's broken and fun, not because the advert- Not because the, uh... Yeah, no, not because the microtransactions are actually, like, sensible. <laughs> Targeting leaves me at the worst possible time. Ow. Man. They're not hard, but man, am I having trouble with the, with these fuckers today. I am having some trouble with the spacers today. Some I know someone made a Grunder Industries logo. Why wouldn't you? Belka's finest export war. You see that six two one? That dome's your refinery plant. I've updated your marker data. Head for the target. Okay, so the lakes area, which is that way. Code five, unknown AC. Yeah. Okay. Can we go over there? He's off to the right here, okay. Looks like an independent oh, on some ledge. Okay, so he was be up here, okay. To the system. Intercept. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Oh, the turrets. Yeah, okay, I think I, I understand. Ow. And here I thought those were not, you know, what I, what, what, the, what they wound up being. Oops. I am taking a lot of damage this run. So he's up here somewhere. It ain't him. It, it's that guy. Nope, not him either. I'd like to go up, please.
I guess that was him, but you got him the first time. Probably, because we did kind of... We did kind of move out here. I guess we... There must be some guy here that we missed. So we'll make sure to kill literally everyone before we nuke the reactor. Because apparently, we were... We weren't thorough enough before. That guy. Nope, didn't get a log either. That's too far. A shame, but too far for the Moonlight meme. The rest of the areas... The rest of them are, are the LCs in the second area like this. You know what they probably are? They're probably on the bridge, because I don't I don't remember killing everybody in the bridge, but they're also... There might be guys over there, too. Oops. Okay. Awkward. Man, if only you could, like, nudge the targeting system left or right to, like, target specific limbs or maybe the head and... Well, that would turn into Mech Warrior now, wouldn't it? But we'd have to give up the ghost on passive targeting then. But then again, if you did just free aim, uh, that you probably wouldn't have problems like that. You wouldn't have a fire control system. You're the fire control system, you mad man. location-based damage in this game. It'd be hell. But you know me, I'd sign up for it. So it looks like, yeah, they're probably over... I don't see anybody here, and I thought that was a dude, but it, it's not. So it looks like we're, um... We're out of man. So it looks like the second area is gonna be what the... It, it's just gonna be... I think, you know what I did? I skipped this whole area, is what I did. Right? Because I think we thrust it, uh, you know, we, we just pushed past this after taking out the, um, the containers. And I didn't actually just, I, I like, I stopped shooting shit, so that's probably where I, where, you know, Mystery Man is, wherever the fuck he is. I can almost see how you could do it, too. You'd have to switch to almost basically entirely hard lock. I suppose you could still have a passive lock system like we have right now to handle it, but you would almost, you'd have to give Jesus the wheel on locational damage then. But you could kind of do like flicking, like, like analog, you like locking onto a target and then ever so slightly holding the right stick left, right, up or down to maybe, maybe just kind of point the, the rounds a little bit more, you know, in a certain direction, or maybe potentially lead while you're moving a target, putting a little bit of extra, like, windage into it. You know, backwards and forwards, depending on how you're moving and the target's moving. But then again, that's replacing the fire control system. And, well, then you're just doing all the work. You'd need an overhaul and, you know, in... You, an overhaul and design to do that. However, that would be an interesting way to reduce stagger mechanics. You want to stagger the enemy? Well, shoot their fucking actuators then, genius. Then they, they lose their ability to track you properly. They get slower because you knocked out a leg with a whole shitload of boosters in it. You know, they can't aim or they lost their gun because you blew up their fucking hands. That's mech warrior logic, but that would be like... That would be heretical. Honestly, unfortunately, for this sort of game. Western logic in my Japanese mecha game? No. Code five, target 
Target confirmed. Blow out the gyroscope and he can't stand. That would be like a permanent stun. Like, you're just fucked the end. But that would be, probably be somewhere in the core, and then you, well, then you'd have to get into the idea if you want random criticals through armor, and you probably don't. But you blow out the head, and, you know, he loses tra target tracking, he, you know, his HUD isn't really displaying properly, you know, he, he gets visual glitches, and, you know, it makes it more difficult to play in some cases, but maybe not impossible if you blow out the main camera. But again, you could do something like that if you really wanted to. You could even still do it in a fast-paced game like this, but then that means that the 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 uh, the dismemberment, as it were, is fucking lethal. But that also means that, hey, yeah, melee weapons would be really fucking good in that and wouldn't have to rely on staggering enemies. If you get hit with a superheated fucking, like, you know, high-frequency blade and it cuts your arm off, well, I guess you don't really... Yeah, you don't really get any more arm. You know, you don't get any more use out of that arm, though. But then you'd still have to. You'd have to make it more complex than that. I don't know. Maybe you could, you could warp stagger, and then maybe you could use. Uh, maybe, maybe if you hit somebody with a melee attack, you got you, you're like three sec, like less, like two seconds or or less of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance cutting time. Like. You'd have to really accurately aim the sword towards the limb you'd want to cut off. And if you're if you're not fast enough, you miss the window to do it. And shotguns would fuck everything. However, you would add distance to make shotguns less effective. Classic video video game design. It wouldn't be armored car anymore, but Yo, it'd be an, unho an unholy matrimony of mech, of mech genre stuff. <laughs> Code 5, we gotta resist- Dead. <laughs> Dude racks his shotgun and is in he's immediately dead. <laughs> all right. I'm on the kill em all run, and as you can see, I'm only s just now kind of running out of ammo a little. I still got like 15, 30, I still got four mags, and we're gonna hit a resupply. An Atlas as a boss. Dude, an Atlas in an Armored Core game would probably be spooky as fuck. Like an at you know, an Armored Core that's actually, like, an AC that's, like, basically just, it's an Atlas, but it's in here, would probably be one of the more intimidating, like, core sets you could probably get a hold of, at least visually, because that's kind of the whole point. The whole point of the Atlas is to spook. Big scary skull man. Getting ammo racked would be scary, and then, well, that would probably... Well, you would say that that's a weakness of missiles, but at the end of the day, if you have external missile launchers, that's, a, that's not really a big deal. You, you could just rationalize as, oh, they hit my external missile launcher. The system notices an ammo, ammunition cook-off and immediately purges the part. It would look cool. It would still spit out fucking missiles like firecrackers, but it probably wouldn't be damaging. Where did that guy go? He, uh, we almost missed that guy. That guy came back from break late. I want to be big, tough, and ugly. Unfortunately, Armored Core doesn't like you doing that. However, again... East and West mech genres need to converge. Because, uh, actually, we didn't get these. Huh. Because Mecha does what I'm doing right now good. Maneuverability, fast. There's a visceral feeling to it. However, when it comes to slugging matches, it doesn't... It, 
it it kind of rejects the idea because it doesn't see it as skill based, right? But if you add a locational damage system that can erode performance, the dude that has armor may be, you know, may have an easier time initially, but the guy who's maneuvering can still damage him and actually probably kill him just by, you know, eroding at his defenses. Granted, you still have that here with hit points, but, you know, I kind of want to feel a little bit more durable if I'm going for durability, which unfortunately this game just don't do. But here's a resupply. Western Mecha is a, yeah, a, a, a moving wall of fuck you. It's a weapons platform. This is about being some kind of hyper maneuverable. It's, it's, guys, it's just a human shaped fighter jet. It's a human shaped fighter jet. That's what all this is. This is just fighter pilot romanticism, but it's shaped like a human. That's all, that's really all Mecha is. It's not bad when it does that, but that's really all Mecha is. I'm a man shaped fighter jet. The hell is that? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, tiny little Arctic explorer. I thought you were a threat. That's the refinery plant. Two and six, two, okay, so here we are, but where? Oh, right, no, I just skipped all everybody in this area. But now we're gonna try and not die. Or not take a, a, a hilarious amount of damage. Oh, God damn it. Where's that log? Okay, map boundary. Ladies and gentlemen, did I get a combat log? Because honestly, I don't have time to look down at the side of the screen and check. Did anybody see a... No? Did anybody see a combat log pop up? Because I'm pretty sure I murdered everybody. All the logs are back behind you. Well, but, but how? I'm pretty sure we walked through and murdered literally everyone. Oh, now nah, I, nah, I can't go back. Did you go up the crack in the wall? Crack in the wall. Huh? I got the dude on the wall, you know, I got the dude, you know, uh, you know, the snipers that were inside the, uh, the area, you know, in the crevice, but where's the other guy? The ravine. Yeah, we went into the ravine and killed literally everyone. I'm fairly certain I killed literally everyone. Might as well finish the mission and find out, I guess. Did something ping on me? What happened? Try that again. Yes, I know. Also, yeah, you know, the destroyed head that gives me radar, you know, the AWACS equipment. Boss fight! Again, that's uh, that fucking Suomi. When do I get that shit? That looks fucking cool. When do I get it?
Okay. Now you're fucked. Oh, great. Then he... Actually, no, that wasn't him. Ow! Y yeah, when do I get something like that? Had to get your special move off before you died, though, cocksucker. Oh, great, thanks. Because he was right above me, I missed my fucking chance there. Okay, well, hang on here. The Eskimos? What? <laughs> no one outruns the Eskimos? Who the fuck are the Eskimos? <laughs> That was easier than I thought it was going to be, even though I did, you know, kind of fumble getting the last gag. I think we've done enough to inspire other mercenaries to work for Arkabus. I didn't get my log, though. Where was he? Well, we'll, going, I guess we'll come back and check because Hard we're going to be say. playing the game at least another time. So, oh well. Six two one still performing well, but hmm. I doubt the voices have gone away. At any rate, whatever the voices are doesn't seem to be doing any harm for now. I was asking about you, Walter. But whatever. Bigger things. The coral. You'd better find it. Turns out, our friend's fears were warranted. Don't spend too long dealing with the PCA, Walter. Clock's ticking. Two new messages. Hmm. Oh, do we have more arena fights now? Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison. V8 Pater here. Impressive work on the refueling base assault. V4 has left me a message addressed to you, if I may. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, buddy. <clears throat> I've got my eye on you. Uh, that is all. We at the Archivist Group expect much from you. Thanks, Peter. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Yep, there we go. We've added new samples to the integration program. You may now test updates to Mind Alpha and analyze corporate AC technology. Hooray! We look forward to your continued assistance in all minds drive toward perfection. Some journals really said that the voice acting was bad in this game, and it's like, what game are you playing? Yeah, what magnificent voice acting, uh, you know, are you, uh, are, are, seriously, who, what are you comparing this to? I'd love to know what what your comparisons are. This doesn't seem... I mean, it's not the most fantastic voice acting I've ever heard in my entire life, but it's not bad. It's not in any way. It carries emotion when, it act, when there's time to, you know, carry emotion. And it's kind of funny, too, because maybe this is... Yeah, this is just... I actually, I know this is just me. But Walter's voice actor being Mondo Zappa and him sounding kind of emotionless, I just kind of... I, I just imagine Mondo Zappa in my head, and that just, like, all right, fine, that's just a stone voice. Even if we don't know what the man looks like, I just... I, I already have it in my head, thanks to Suda. And I'm like, okay. That's who the... That's fine. I already know how kind of emotionless he is. You can crack a joke once in a while, too, but he just kind of sounds like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Listening to games journalists these days. Who even does that? The only thing I I check, uh, you know, games journalism sites for is when the fuck is this game coming out again? That's it. When when's the release date again? That's all I, I that, that that is all I look at them for. Because really, at the end of the day, 
they're really useless for everything else. Because they're over-opinionated snobs. And they don't even play good game. They don't even, they don't, they don't have good tastes. They're over-opinionated and they don't have good tastes. Yeah, I'm sure you had to, yo, know, you have to be forced to write games you don't really have any, like, frame of reference on or anything like that. And you have to do it at a rapid pace, but it's degraded. And, like, while you could say games journalism is always in the pocket of the developers, because they always have to play nice, which is why nothing gets lower than a fucking seven. So, th th that's, you know, understandable in that regard. It was, uh, it was less obvious before? I don't know. But then again, back in the early days, it was totally hollow. Or rather, all over the fucking place in a lot of ways. Maybe because there were more independent outlets and, you know, more of them were still around and people were still making them. Rather than, you know, them, you know, like, th having the die-off where the game was established that you need the publisher's support in order to remain an outlet. End of story. So you couldn't write, be writing hit pieces, yo, yo, uh, on certain things, even if it was warranted, because then we lose our sponsorships. So maybe there was more li lively, you know, maybe it was more lively back in the day. Yo, back originally. But I remember them it being a whole lot less obvious. But then again, my game's journalism came from things like X-Play, which, while comedic, was also pretty on point. But what a shame. Adam Sessler is no longer really a reliable ses uh, yo, source of information. And Morgan Webb literally doesn't exist. Disembodied voice was never seen again, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. All my heroes, they've all disappeared and left me here. But, ah, uh, yes, Mind Beta. Integration Program Phase 2. Drawing from the evaluations thus far, All Mind has updated the Mind Alpha model. The revised model features an AI that benefits from the breadth of All Mind's research archives. All Mind anticipates that, anticipates that this new model, Mind Beta, can astronomically upgrade its co actual combat astronaut oh, oh oh sorry autonomously up operate in actual combat at the same level as a highly skilled mercenary right never mind never th who is that never heard of him adam Cesar is unfortunately a washed up asshole now yeah he, unfortunately he is Un unfortunately he is very sad to see the man fall, but sadly, unfortunately, a lot of our heroes fall. Integration program. Initiating phase two. Sadly, it is true. Only the good die young. Please begin by engaging the revised model, Mind Beta, in virtual combat. There's another good track there, but this game could use a lot more active combat music. But it, it's got beats like that. You hear it? <laughs> I was pop tarting to get him to do that. Okay. Yep, there's terminal armor. Guess I'll just reload. Again. Yeah, I'm starting to see a PvP meta here. Who can play at that game, fucko? Die! Mmm! Target destroyed. Concluding analysis. I love Solaris. Just makes you feel good. But yes, apparently, you know, pulse armor is bullshit. We'll go grab that now, now that I actually have, you know, you know, the chips for it. I do like Anarchy in the Galaxy, though. 
I do like the assault armor to just pull that when they start actually getting, you know, uppity. At least I don't spam that willy-nilly, right? Granted, the AI has a knack for getting out of the way in time, but at least I, 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 I feel like that's going over the line. But it looks like, yeah, no, the armor is going to become more and more of a thing. So maybe having that in the back pocket is not a bad idea. But okay, so that would be uh, pulse protection. Protection allows it to be installed. I'd love to be able to see what it does, but so pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position, providing cover. Oh, from a fixed position. No, we want armor. Thank you. I want the bubble. Let's see how this goes before I. Uh, then again, I could I could always just come back here and do all of these. So you only get two of those, huh? But also, I think I, I I kind of need the energy weapon. The 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 moonlight meme actually needs that. So as for anything else, um, I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> Though I could have gotten explosive weapons, but again, if we if we switch weapons, I'm gonna be just switching weapons to, you know, I'm 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 gonna be switching uh the the um. Uh, what you the talent tree here, as it is, right? Because that's basically what it is. But okay, so yep. Defense performance until it exceeds its durability or time limit. But again, yes, primal armor. Thank you. Apparent, but apparently that that's that's not primal armor. But apparently you do get access to actual pri primal armor at some point, which is. That sounds great. That sounds fantastic, please. Okay, integration program phase two. As a part of its ongoing fundamental research, All Mind is now analyzing the design concepts for, of the ACs employed by the various factions of Rubicon. By understanding these humanoid craft, we gain a greater understanding of how their designers perceive humanity. Okay. The extraplanetary corporations believe humanity to be powerless against its environment. Thus, they maximize the power of their ACs to subjugate their surroundings. Yes, I suppose that is true. We do build giant robots to tell the Earth to go fuck itself. And anyone else! The Earth, the planets, aliens, the souls of the damned. This is why we build giant robots. They are machines that bring victory. Corporation. Commencing analysis. It's also using the flathead, funny enough. Okay, so it's got missiles. Right, it's got double... Okay, I see what it's doing. It, right, it's got the, uh... It's got the dendromium fucking missile case. Gotta watch out for that. I mean, okay. I can do that shit too if you just wanna just extend the fight. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Again, if no FC, if if no FCS got me, I know Jesus got me. Little little to the left, bro. <laughs> That's what a fire, a good fire, like the fire control system actually holding the target like that just feels like. It just, Jesus takes, you know, puts his hand on the barrel and goes a little to the left, bro. And, oh, that was, those were funnels too. Right, I, I, I thought they were missiles, but funnels. And yet, you can have funnels, which we might spec into later, I guess. We could build something that, you know, we could build the pride of Neo Zeon or something akin to it. I don't have parts for a cubole, but we could probably definitely build something that those fuckers from Axis probably would have made. We could use Axis logic and make ourselves something, you know, at memes funnels and other ridiculous weaponry. So, OS tuning. Now we've got that, and we will just grab the other Charger Pulse armor. Thank you. And the, you know, another grab of energy here. And we'll probably grab energy output or energy weapon output to the maximum because that... 
I think, actually determines the output of the Moonlight Blade. Because I think it's actually energy... Fuses laser and pulse technology to accompany slashing attacks with waves of light. Charged to increase output, emitting larger waves of light. I think this is counted as an energy weapon, but it won't tell you. New Gundam build? Something like that, I suppose. You could do that. Or anything, really. We could we could make something. We could some make something akin to a not cubele. And somebody's already made the fucking Sazabi. <laughs> you have legs that are just I am Sazabi legs. You know what I am here for. Like, where are they? They are shouting at you. <laughs> You know, like, the heel is slightly different, but at the end of the day, you, you know what those are. You, they call to you. They say, you know what I am and what I should be made to support. Use me wisely, Raven. Laser rifle, songbird, and funnels. Yeah, um, I suppose. Because, you know, twin bazookas. And then... You know, beam rifle and then funnels. So you could probably do that. Or you could just do, you know, two funnels and two bazookas. Or a, a, a beam rifle and, a, you know, a melee weapon for a laser sword. Something. Or, well, you could use the moonlight blades to say new type energy. Ha ha ha! Axis shock. Next! Okay. Integration Program Phase 2, Final Analysis. As part of its ongoing fundamental research, All Mind is now analyzing the design concepts of the ACs employed by the various factions of Rubicon. The Rubiconian ACs are defined by a tendency to focus on harmony with the human body in varying degrees, a sign, perhaps, that they have embraced humanity's potential as beings that exist within nature, and that they intend to maximize this through optimization and human drive input. I'm not quite th what, sure what that means from a mech design standpoint, but okay. Maybe they prize efficiency and just dealing with it rather than just subjugating the environment and saying, no, you play by my rules. However, you know, one implies, uh, you know, weakness, but, uh, you know, utilizing the environment to hide it. The other one just says no to weakness. Brain link to the mech. Oh, okay. The next sample is the Rubiconian AC. This will be integrated into Mind Beta. Oh, okay, I see what. It, oh, okay, so it's using. Oh, okay. I get it now. So the other one I didn't really pick up, but this is. They're basically just jamming all the corpo parts together and all the faction parts together here and creating a mech out of it. Okay. I didn't really pick that up that, like, literally it's just made out of their parts. I thought it was just more fluff text, but it's just literally made out of their parts. I waited. Too long. I fucked it up, but there it is. Cranial Jack from Brigador? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Target destroyed. The data will be Mob drivers everywhere. Um, Brewster could probably be an AC pilot. He's probably sociopathic enough. <laughs> yeah, no, he'd probably make a pretty good AC pilot. But yeah, the Rubicorians are all about becoming one with your machines and stuff. All right. Would he be Red Gun and Vesper? Well, I think Vespers are a better indication of spacer logic. So he'd probably be a Rubiconian who just said, nah, man, yo, know, Archibus hired me. Yeah, you know, they gave me the contract to go fuck everything up. I'll be, I'll bye. Bye, nerds. 
So, I think Vesper would probably be a better fit for him. Red guns? Well, they are, in fact, you know, corpos from space. They're probably... The red guns strike me as more loyalist in how they actually, you know, you know, carry themselves. But that's kind of skewed, I suppose. But I suppose the Rubiconians then would be the Corvids. So it's kind of like... It, it, it depends on how you view the situation and apply that to logic there. But something... But Vesper strikes me as more spacers. With wacky spacer attack and, yo know, sociopathy and shit like that. We're gonna have to kill all mine, aren't we? It's probably gonna challenge us to a duel. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Okay, so... Energy weapons maximum, then. To the max. Extreme! Okay, and we... Get this, and is there anything else we can get for two points? Manual aiming, but I don't want to actually have that, even though we kind of already have that, honestly. Maybe if we, like, maybe one, me, I don't know, maybe on my own time I'll just fuck around with mouse and keyboard to see if it actually does anything. But yet, uh, I don't really need to use terminal armor, or rather, you know, pulse armor. There's two of them, two different things. Pulse armor, terminal armor. Terminal armor is a saving throw, so, you know, it only comes on when you're about to die. Pulse armor is just, and now, now I will extend the fight. Ah, oh, I have made- I have been outplayed momentarily. I will now invalidate your stagger. We are still fighting. Okay, so eliminate the enforcement squads. I'm told that that one's kind of annoying. But anyway, hang on here. Let's go into replay here to see- Aside from the damn mission missing a log, because we- I couldn't find it. Or the- uh, Yo, that th I don't know what's going on there. Oh, wait, no. That's the wrong mission. Sorry. Oops. That was the mission we played. That's not the same mission. Oops. Wrong fucking mission. But okay, so there are... no other missions currently that have logs, aside from Eliminate Honest Brute and the Spaceport, which we don't have yet. Pulse protection is two o OS chips. Yes, but I have to swap out the ch the chip that I have, or the the uh, the extension that I have now to use that. So if I'm not using it, I ain't buying it. Okay, so floating city. Yo, block. Yo, uh, help Carla nuke her competitors, and then the one new mission. Eliminate the PCA enforcement squads. Sure. So this is our new mission. What's going on here? Attention, Gun 13 Raven. This military operation is approved by Balaam HQ. Kill the spacers, kill the spacers. Liberation Front took action regarding the Archivist controlled wall. But ultimately, both parties were suppressed by the Planetary Closure Administration. No one gets the wall but us. Their loss is our gain. There won't be a better opportunity for Balaam to steal the show. Hmm. I want you to head to the combat zone and eliminate the enforcement squads deployed by the PCA. Kill them all. Be aware that their forces include a new type of craft, the HC. That's why we've chosen you. Because we don't want to fight that fucking thing. It's counting on you, Gun 13. Happy hunting. Curveball, though. Om Brewster is a Rubiconian that takes up mercenary contracts for the PCA, which is actually the spacers here. It was actually coming down on literally everyone's heads. Can't let go of their to climb the wall. When the mission starts, go to the right. Got it. We'll make it work for us. Task is clear. Immediate right. I'm surprised Balaam wants anything to do with us after the whole shooting at Volta and Isaru. Well, you know, at the end of the day, a man who gets the job done is a man who gets the job done. So, obviously, wait a minute, I think I see him. Is that him over there? I, I thought I think I saw a blue light. Because that's kind of your cue that there's a log here. You know, if they aren't like NPCs or something. So, where does the map boundary end over here? 
Yeah, it's just business. Sometimes you gotta admit, yeah, that guy's good, but he's taking contracts from everybody, so why don't we fucking hire him? If you can't beat him, get him on, get them on your payroll, right? There's a lot of area over here. I wonder if they're hiding a log. Okay, that's the that's the boundary. Is it Aha! Again, because Jesus has the wheel. So he was hiding over here. So, secret boss fight. Okay. There's our log. Is there any more things that I have to worry about? Some other, you know, MTs that actually have logs and leading me to actually need to kill literally everyone? Because I still have to kill everyone. I could have used my pulse armor a little bit effectively there, but it's just kind of, you just pop it out to make sure you're not going to be damaged too much. I, you want you want to use that to avoid having to use med kits. But in the arena, obviously, you don't have med kits, so that's really your, that's your med kit. I need my boost. Code 31A, sustaining damage. Requesting backup. Code 7A. Major. They, they just have... Now, now they just have songbirds on MTs, basically. They suck, but... I see flashing lights. Is that a log? It is. STV sketch. A sketch by STV. A, a masked battlefield art. Okay, Banksy, but art. Banksy, but battlefield. Okay, fine. Artist set, said by some to be one of the last artists to dedicate his career to the art of hand-drawn portraits. Once again, AI art is banned, says everyone. His works command a high value among collectors in the know. STV's notes. Old man, seated. Looks like he's seen some things. Which, we can't see his face, so there's that. That's that's the only log, because as I recall, because it's a platinum log. Okay, right, that's it. But we'll just keep cruising and killing everyone. That's one target down. We have to go all the way up the wall over there. It looks like there's an internal. For yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Fucked! They have really bad stagger recovery, so if you stagger them, they are fucked. Waiting. Unfortunately, I had all of my weapons expended. That fourth weapon would have been useful here, but I think I seem to be doing fine without it. Like, I wanted a weapon for flare, but it seems as though the default rifle is just incredibly reliable. You, if you don't want to use anything else, it works. However, of course, you need to be relying on something to you know, grant you the, the amazing power of stun cheese, which we've got. Now, what the, this area looks a little bit overly large. What's going on here? 
Yeah, this is a hole. Why is the- there's something here. This is a hole that doesn't have to be here. Why is this here? Must be up there. Because this is a hole in the area. What's going on here? Because, you see, there's... The crater isn't an area, so this area is built around that. I don't see nothing, sadly, but hang on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, nope. Again, why does this little drop area exist? It seems like you would... Uh, wait. Something popped up. What was that? I heard something. I was slightly up. Is it up here? Nope. Okay, then. Maybe... Maybe it's... No? It just... Hmm. That's very strange. Something should... Wait, there it was again. What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but it's intermittent. There's some kind of tone that plays, but I can't see anything that would pop up to indicate I'm... seeing anything. Odd! Doesn't look like there's anything here, though. My mistake. Maybe they add something in here later. Because that's definitely, uh, we're hiding something here, or we're gonna put something here, because as you can see, this area is walled off here because they don't want us going down there. But that... That should end here if they were being, you know, con you know, concise about it. Maybe it's a little hidey hole to hide from, you know, you know, the, 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 the mid-boss mechs? Maybe? Oh. Mighty sus. Ah, that's a that's a quick boost turn. I never fucking wind up using that, so it's well. Okay, it really only works for backward. There's a cooldown too, funny enough. So, well, and then yeah, there's a massive cooldown for that. Okay. Now, can I go up here? No. Okay then. Only one door. What a surprise. They're waiting for me. a ping. Must be over here. I guess I was, I guess I nabbed one of the guys who was dying. Odd. They should really make that more obvious. There's some things about the HUD I don't really agree with. 
but sometimes it like what the what scan picks up isn't really all that obvious i'd much rather have a continuous radar package maybe that's what i'm missing here that's what that would be the fourth part a fucking radar that continuously pulses and highlights shit around me I'm taking too much damage. Damn! Restore the link with the system ASAP. That boost your FCS would be worth a worth a slot. Yes, it would. Again, I'm using my terminal armor too early. I guess that's what that is. And you, there's no checkpoint on that mission. Wow, what a bunch of fucks. Okay, well now that I know, there's nothing else there. We could just get on with it. We we're doing fine until we had to fight that guy. But now it's more endurance battles as well. Well, okay then, at least we know where the guy is. Oops. I'm more comfortable with having durability here, but obviously, you know, once we see the guy, we we we, we kinda know what we're up against, so we know we know what to expect now. that much trouble with this guy and then suddenly we are ah there's something else up there huh there is a something else up here Right, hang on, because I'm fucking that up. Try that again. Because this is the problem here. I don't have a lot of... I'd like to make something more durable while it is maneuverable. And that's, maybe that's something I should focus on. Because there's just only so much that dodging can get you against this fucking AI. That, a the enemy, that enemy AC has the cheese. Yeah, he's using songbirds too. So once again, no one's, no one's acknowledging the nap anymore. Yeah, no, he has dual songbirds. Right. Where did he go? Behind me. Nice stagger. Yeah, and my controller really isn't doing me any favors. Okay. Video re record re record extracted from a wreck appears to be a recording of a Rubicon Liberation front address to fellow comrades. They say that the coral was plentiful, infinite, before the fi fires of Ibis. Well, it was. It just all exploded. And, and then the Institute burned this planet dry. The academics in their ivory tower underestimated the power of Rubicon's blessing. And when it laid their weakness bare, they burned it all to ash. Actually, it was kind of an accident. 
See, I, I guess this is what terminal armor is for, though. That's the thing. But the question is, or rather, the pulse armor. But I, I guess I should be using that, again, m harder. But I, there are some enemies that I should just be able to shit can. But, well, I guess I'm not abiding by cheese as hard as I, sh I could. Eh. I don't know. There's many things that you... There's, there's choices. And you have to just decide where to go. Which cheese? How much cheese? But there is, o there is only cheese. There is only cheese. Code three one A, sustaining damage. Requesting backup. Code seven eight. One. Two. Moving on. Well, as soon as my booster reloads. So we really need to shit can that HC when it shows up because those guys are really annoying and we don't get a resupply here. I have one med kit. We're going to try and avoid using that as for as long as possible. Yes, hello. Just kind of stick the gun around the corner. Okay. It's got good tracking, so long as we can mostly keep the enemy on screen and at point blank range. Code 5, solo AC. Code 2 3, attempting C. Cut to the lowest officer's HC. That AC must be our independent first. Moving to terminate. Wow, okay. Thanks, video game! What, uh, the targeting system had no idea what the fuck was going on there. can't stick and move with him like this because the missiles will just hit me. Yeah, no, he's got an energy resistance, so I have to dump the moonlight. What'll probably work again is the pile driver, because usually when the moonlight fails, the pile driver picks up the slack and will actually murder a fuck, which is kind of a sh sad shortcoming of the moonlight. It seems as though that energy damage gets negated really fucking easily. So yeah, the pile driver is probably what we should, you know, be able to, you know, what we should, you know, use in this situation if the moonlight don't work. I should probably, I could have probably assembled it, but we had to go back to the main menu anyway. Okay, so with that in mind, can I get anything on my shoulder here? Anything at all? No. Can I get a primary weapon on the shoulder? Can I get like a pistol or something? No. Nope, we're pushing it to the limit there. But oh well, we know that's dirt. We know that's workable. We just have to stagger him and actually get in there and do that damage. 
and also deal with asshole Freddy without taking too much damage in return. Hopefully shit canning him before he gets a chance to use his pulse armor. And more stagger resist. I should probably work on that. The light lance is, is good for staggering. Hmm. But I like to use my weapons after I stagger, not, you know, to call stagger. That's kind of the thing. But the thing is, every time I stop to shoot something at the guy, I just get punished because he's got the response time to really go after me. God damn it. Well, I guess I'll just hide now, because go fuck you, yourself, and your fucking, your pulse armor. <sighs> you see, it's all, I've got to pick my chances to shoot. That's the thing. Because I'm trying to get those shots in, and he's usually moving too fast and also target. Yeah, okay, you know what? I We can do this faster, but the thing is, I have to really pick my shots here with the, the needle gun, because stopping to stand still will get me hit by one of their attacks. It's only a moment, but then the AI gets jacked up to really take advantage of that. And of course, he's a tank build with songbirds, so he's actually using a cheese build. I'm about three seconds from pulling my cheese build out, because this is what we're doing here. Not too bad. Not horrendous, but we could have done that better. Mag. Okay. Thanks, targeting system, you fuck. Dead. Okay, he just... You saw how he just recovered from critical stagger, like, in the blink of an eye? What the hell happened there? We're gonna try and not use that med kit for as long as possible. Oh, I accidentally pressed it like an idiot. I wanted to do scan and I accidentally pressed the med kit. Oh well, we still got two, we still got two terminal armor. Though I should use that honestly. I don't think we're gonna get the time in, in the fight in order to use that once we're inside the room. Oops. The well, the pulse armor. I don't think we're going to have a time to use the second pulse armor. Unless we drag that shit out for a million years.
Okay, so. So, okay, what I'm going to do... Not you. Well, actually, yes, you. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to try and kill... We're, we're trying to stay alive, obviously, but kill time until we have that second... God damn it. What is with that I recover critical stagger? You see that, right? What the hell? Yeah! Thank you, pile driver. I'm sorry I ever gave you up. Fucking, like, three quarters of his health gone in the blink of an eye. God bless you, pile driver. Nothing left in the vicinity. Big O show time. Thump. Bigo had the right idea. Yeah, just uh, uh, mass plus force plus explosion. Ooh, almost there. I'm sorry, pile driver. I'm sorry I ever gave you up. You are probably the best melee weapon so far. Because you see, the moonlight blade is fun and usable, but then it also becomes useless almost immediately. When you move outside its you know uh, realm of scope, it hurts. Thank you, sir. Survivor, no doubt. Let me give you some advice. Don't settle for being an independent. Join the Red Guns. Have a career. On the ranks. Double rank promotions. Keep that unlucky number. And eventually the curse will get you to. That's all. Don't forget what I said about putting you to work. The curse of the new guy. Ooh. Okay, so. Yeah, no, we want. We. we <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I want the pile driver back. Dad, you saw that, right? One stun and. Basically, all his hit points are gone in the blink of a fucking eye. That's all you need. You just need one fucking second to get in there. One clean strike. I don't want to give it up, really. I don't. Oh, fuck it. Can I just make it my arm? Can I just make it? A, can I get a pile driver arm? Can I just like? Can I? Can we? Yo, can I change the fist for a? Yo, change the spike on the end for a giant fist? Can I just have a big O arm, please? That would be totally impractical, and the, and the hand would probably shatter every time you used it. But come on. Okay, so we made it through that. Thank God. Okay, so we want... We don't got anything else to do, sadly. We have one more log to get before we reach 12 and Karasawa meme. The pro only problem is, I, uh, yeah, the, the spaceport mission is the only thing that we have left with logs. Which, um, we, we're not there yet. But let's go on a defensive mission, because that's fairly easy. But the pile bunker, you use less energy. This is also true. It is basically Long just... No see, <laughs> it's just... It, it's mechanical, it's effectively. Michigan... Michigan is likable. VCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. You'll enjoy when the laser slicer combo does more damage than the pile bunker, though, because the game is stupid. Again, they're withholding cheese. I'd love to see it. Can you have an extra weapon with the pile bunker? No, I'm overloaded. I can't have anything else on there. I save energy, but it's still overburdening the legs. It's The needle gun's too heavy, but, uh, yeah, until I have something worthwhile, like a cheese combo to work with, I ain't taking it off. 
We could just, yo, yo, flip the script and play, haha, I am a missile boat, but I'm working on what designs I feel like I want. And for right now, we, we need to concentrate all the cheese into one shot, and that's the, the rail gun. You might need medium legs. If I go medium legs, honestly, I'm going to start building for anti-stagger. That's another school of thought to test, and I think that's an experiment for another day. Until I get better le legs that are better at, uh, what, better than the ones I have right now for, yo, energy efficiency. Because I love all this boost. I love me all this boost. There's light medium legs, though. From what I saw, I didn't really... I'd have to go back and look at it, but I didn't really see anything terribly close to what I've got right now, aside from, again, Rusty's parts. We've done this mission. We've done this with basically no damage. We're clear. Hmm. Ammo might be an issue. No, the default gun has a million rounds of ammo and you don't need help. Don't let them slip past you. The default rifle is actually perfectly suited to make it through every mission guns blazing. You, you don't need help. the other one. Ah, too late. I... Remember, the last time we did this, it was a tremendous cheese build. So now I'm actually kind of having having to try. One of our spicier products. Take them out first. Yeah, hi there. Hello. They're all stuck on the wall. Amazing AI. Yeah, they're just stuck. Well, you know what? They're drug addicts, so you know what? I'm not really surprised. You know what? Maybe that's intentional. Yes, hello there. Huh? Ooh, fuck. Yeah, let's stop fucking around there. Ah! I didn't see how much damage these guys did. Because we instantly killed them before. Durr. Now I know. That's actually kind of a threat. Because now the mission has a chance to actually play out and I'm not just relentlessly teasing it. I'm actually giving it a chance, but you see what happens when you give the game a chance. It'll try and pull some bullshit on you almost immediately. That's why you don't give that shit room. Or at least 
You don't give- you- you, you maybe give it some, some- some room in exchange for some style points, and we don't have as many parts as we, you know, I'd like. We could find more style here, but we could always use more of the parts they're hiding, because we know they're hiding parts. Yep, there's the friggin'. Yo, Fetties! Oh. And that might land on our missiles, though, so get moving. Oh. Hi, guys. God damn it. Blowing up the ship auto completes the timer. Interesting speed running strat. Yet yeah, it's a set amount of waves. Hmm. So to end the mission as fast as humanly possible, uh, stalk the the friggin' spawn and immediately shoot the bridge. It's rather comical how easy you can take those out, but I'm actually I'm actually I'm actually glad they're that easy. It's fun. It's got this big stupid fortress enemy that dies instantaneously. It makes you feel powerful. I'm American. With you, so don't be a stranger. I'm I, I'm American, That's so this isn't th this is just my natural sure. born instincts. So good. Did you hear about the War Thunder Forum classified clock being reset? I saw something about it. Somebody didn't somebody leak Eurofighter documents now? Is that it? Bum 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 bum. Typhoon. Okay. Okay, so what is it? It's yeah, it's in it's in this this area. I don't know why the fuck I'm looking for it. Is the only thing we need? Yeah, no, it's just we have to. It's honest brute and then the spaceport, which we don't have yet. So we go over here, and then we now we go through the floating city, which we found everything in, so we don't have to care. Unless they pull something on us. Request from a friend. We still don't have enough data to pin down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. According to my friend's sources, we could find some clues here. Xylem, a city floating on the ocean built by the Rubicon Research Institute. Ever since the fires, that place has been abandoned. Spooky! It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. Which is only one, the only the first time they do this. You think this is the Institute's only spooky city? No, no, you haven't seen the Geofront yet. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog generators so that we can resume the survey. And I think we're clear to just speed run this unless they hurl something at us. Oh, wait. Where the coral is converging. We didn't get that other log on the other mission because I kept speed running it. Damn. We didn't get the log on the uh, the HC, the other, the other one in the city to the left that I saw the first time. I just forgot to get it because I was just fucking struggling to get through the boss. Oops. It was just some artist who was complaining about the fact that he, he again, AI art. Ah! Again, that, that's it. Okay. The ECM won't interfere with our contact. But it is affecting your lock on range. Keep an eye on your surroundings. Unknown intruder detected. Normalization process. I've located an ECM fog control device. Simply the ECM is being hit by the survey drone. A 
Speed running! It's over there. We also have to worry about the filter. Ow. Okay. The only ones who know about this are the PCA and probably Cinder. Fuckers. Fortunately, the data we found helps to identify where the last ECM device is. It's over here. I've set a marker oh. for it. Let's check it out. Goodbye. Ow. Yeah. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. You know, it's it's so yeah, I know. It, 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 the city's so nice. Why are we you know what, never mind, we're speed running. <laughs> But again, here we go with the boss fight. Actually, it's why. Do you read me? Do you read me? You've got and, PCA incoming. And now the filter. Who is too big to miss? God damn it. Uh, ow. Come on. Come on, you bastard. There we go. How did that fuck it? God damn it. I hate that shit. Hit boxes. All right, pull back, pull back. Thanks, Jesus. Get rid of those fucking annoying flies. 
There he is. Get over here! I swear to God. God damn it. Unlucky. zone, you fuck. Man, built to be annoying. Die! That should have happened the first time. His damage zone should be his entire fucking hull. I should have got that in the first time. But him flying outside the map boundary is kind of annoying. I don't put it past that shit past the game anymore, but that shit's kind of annoying. And yeah, grabbing the drones is kind of what you need to do here. However, the access speed is uh, a little bit hard to sit still for. If I had the patience to grab them, but I kind of wanted to grab them without doing that. But you know what? I, I, then I just half-assed it. So, oh well. But uh, the helicopter isn't very hard. He won't hurt you. You just have to actually play the game right. <laughs> very hard, I know. Extremely hard thing. Maybe the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. Play the game right. Be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. The plan to raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. Of course. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. Can I get a mission that has some logs, please? Please, sir, may I have some logs? No new messages. No. May I have a mission with some logs, please? Mm. The city's defense systems were still in operation after all this time. And stranger still, the PCA personally intervened to block the survey. There must be more to Zion. And to Walter's friend. Okay. So what's next? Attack the spaceport, which will have some logs. Now, what logs? Since we know this is effectively just a boss fight. Hey there, buddy. Got a request from Archibus for you. Here's the briefing from my CO, who came up with the plan. We just need one more. Where are the logs on this mission? This is V2 Snail. I shall brief you on the operation. You will be under my direct authority. Consider it a rare privilege. We will conduct simultaneous surprise raids on two planetary closure administration bases. One okay. is the Hall of Communications base. The it's just some random ALCs running around. Spots. Okay. Second is the former Bertram spaceport seized by the PCA for its suppression fleet. V4 Rusty will be dispatched to handle the Harlow base. His objective will be to disable their network and prevent support from PCA elite squads. Raven, during this time you must. In other words, yet kill them all. The heavy warships berthed at the spaceport. Kill them all. Got it. Solid plan, but there's a catch. Disruption of PCA comms won't last long. I'll come support you when I finish on my end. That's kind of funny. 
something that just kind of continuously gets me. All the Arquebus, uh, or the Vespers, specifically, all their icons, they're all... They're all drawn on guitar picks, which is kind of strange, isn't it? That's probably not intentional, but that's just, that's the shape. It's a guitar pick. The supply on this mission is timed, so if you don't get it in time, the mission will just advance regardless. Oh. Well, shit. Better get those... Uh, how many uh, how, how many targets are there? Main system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy all the Earth's warships. I think I see it. It's in here, isn't it? Target for termination approaching warship. Estimated threat range three to four. Contain the target. Hey, buddy. We've taken out the relay mast. That takes care of their external comms. For All right, now. now it's on the upper level on its own. There's some ice ledge near it. Okay. Four targets left. Upper level on its own. There's an ice ledge. Oh, there. It's the fuel tank below it to the right of you right now. Okay. Fuel tank below it. Fuel tank below it. Fuel tank below. In there. Okay. Behind you now. What? It's in front of. Oh, okay. It's in front of it. Okay. Oops. There he is. There it is. Also, that's not. Oh. There it is. Any more? Some random LCs, but you probably got them during the mission before. Well, I hope it'll be enough to actually grab the Karasawa. Open fire! Keep the target away! External comms are out. What's going on? Left. Ah, goddammit. Those falling hurt you. Hold out until I reach you. There's the catch. Resupply while you can, six to one. All right, now we deal with the fight. Hopefully, that's enough logs to get the Karasawa.
Okay. Wow. I didn't think the guy was gonna go down that fast, but okay. God, they're still traveling. Well, I guess I'll come back. They're still moving forward faster than I can intercept. Hey, targeting system, I'd like to target the bridge, please. Okay. That's 100% the game borking on me. That is 100% the game fucking me up there, but oh well. What are you firing missile? What are you, what are you firing at? Why are they pre-firing? Bye now. And more HCs. But of course. Yeah, looks like we've got high ranking PCA officers. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've got your back, buddy. Hope you've got mine. Go double well, this route we do. I was trying to kick him, but oh well. Done. Zippy, motherfucker. Rusty, he's dead! Rusty is dead! He's dead! God damn it, Rusty, he's dead! <laughs> Look at this fucking show off, showing up his melee combo as the man explodes. Show off! Yes, the worm. Right, we need to we need to worry about the worm. Worm. Very large worm moving at incredibly high speed. It's underground. What? What? What is that thing? It's an electric razor! Wait, I've got the zappy. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I've already got the thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. If I get the shot, do I? Can I actually damage it? It'd be kind of funny if I could, because I already have the meme. 
I, I think it's just in, in, immune to damage here. No, you need the rail cannon. I have that. That's what I have. That's that's what I that that's the thing. I have the meme. Cause it has two she Oh right! Right, we 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 need that, right. Forgot about that. Yeah, the overread. Right, I forgot about that. We have to take that out first. Fair, fair evening, buddy. Looks like the PCA How are we? Has helped itself to the Institute's Fine. Hello, stranger. Six two one. Rest up at base. I'll come up with a plan to deal with our new friend. Level 12! And that means... Multi-energy rifle cure or so... I, I, I guess they put a V instead of a W. It's our wonderful friend, the bullshit cheese weapon. Here's the situation, they probably call it, call it by name, but they abbreviated it. After the PCA that institute weapon on us. So this thing has multiple firing modes, I know. Whatever the fuck that is. I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing. Cap, laser, charge, plasma, charge two. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of like a me it's kind of like a melee wind up then for charge two then I suppose. But let's have a look. Two new messages. Heard the news, Taurus. I swear. Huh? You just keep tripping up over the Institute's relics, don't you? Well, I got something that might interest you. Sent you a briefing. Sorry to impose on you, Raven, but I've just sent you an urgent request. Here we go. I wish we could More new missions. Own, but we've got no choice but to count on you. Take a look and see what you think. Okay, so, the Kurosawa, or Kurosawa. I hope we can fit it. We might have to do some switcherooing here to fit it in. I hope, dear God, please let me be able to fit it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. <laughs> oh, God! Multi-energy rifle developed by all mine, capable of laser, plasma, and combined fire. This weapon is equipped with a two-stage charge system that provides a choice of firing modes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so, um... The, the the generator can't handle it, the legs can't handle it, and the arms can't even hold it. So, one. Bap. Charge one. Bap. Charge two. Oh. <laughs> You're basically fucked if you get hit by that. Okay, so that's we're gonna have to drastically alter the build to fu to, fu uh, to fuck around with that. That is, uh, mm. we'll see the vod eventually. But how did the hopping spider go? The hopping spider with the shit ton of missiles does work. That's a viable alternate build. But oh boy, core reactor time. Yeah, so we've got a oh boy, that's a lot. Oh dear lord, it's double barreled. <laughs> oh, so that's how they do that. Interesting. Okay, so we need to free up. Well, we need new arms because these arms apparently cannot handle it, which is kind of annoying. Well, let me save the. Well, let me save this j first before we do anything. 
Because, oh my decals. Ah, but now we have to do, we have to re, re if we're going to use that in combat, we have to redesign the mech. So let's see here. Oh, oops. Right. Save. So now we have to do some redesigning here until we have, find something I'm happy with. Okay. Did we get any new... I think we got some new arms, and I think I immediately snapped them up. Yeah, no, we've got all, we've got all of this. Kar is probably going to need a medium mech design, most likely. So we're going to have to do a bit of a Season 2 upgrade here, because the legs can't handle it, the generator can't handle it, and the arms can't handle it. Everything's got to go. Am I... Okay, am I, go am I going insane? Has Vladimir ever done Tribes content on YouTube? No. Not that I know of. It fit on the Schneider arms. Okay, the Schneider arms. This is going to fuck up all my decals, but we'll see about this. Well, actually, we have to put it on there so we know exactly what we're dealing with. Because this is a meme, and it's it, it, it's going to be good. Okay, so arms overburdened here. Well, uh, almost anything other than that. What about the actual Ava arms? You got those. Those are interesting. Okay, those are the new... Eh. Nope, the, uh, the actual Ava arms can't handle that shit either. Very sad. Junker arms as well. The Junker arms, that doesn't even count, but the Schneider arms. So, Schneider arm. Nope, Schneider arms can't handle that either. Okay, we'll start from the legs up then, because we're going to have to choose arms now. It'll basically, it's because of the pile bunker. Really? Well, let's see. It Actually, yeah. Shit. But we're still overburdened, so it's still the, the legs. But we may not, you know what? We may not need this. We, we, we may not need the cheese now. We may be able to put that shit away. Yeah, and shortfall overburden. We're going to have to be very... Yeah, we... Man. Yeah, no, we can't really put anything else in there. So, funnels and the Karasawa, and that's it. Well, let's give it a try in the arena and see what happens. Time to upgrade them legs. Yeah, the legs... The legs probably need to be changed here. But so, hang on here. Let's actually give this a whirl. You know, what's, you know what we're doing. <laughs> what should I do? I know what we're doing. And the generator, maybe, maybe, maybe the core, the, the uh, maybe the coral generator will probably work out. But then we lose the recharge time, and that's gonna hurt. Okay, so it's not completely broken, but yeah. Hmm. That's pretty acceptable. Fires really quick, too. Good lord. Watch that shit go. As soon as it actually charges back here. Overheats real quick, though, but... If you wanted to at maximum till... You can let that shit go, but that would be obviously against what you'd want to do, because it's an energy weapon. As long as you don't overheat it, you, it, you know, you can keep that shit going forever. But it does have limited ammo. That's charge one. Near instantaneous stagger. Bomb. You can buy another oak up. Good lord. Well, if we're gonna, yeah, I think we might have to do. Dual and well thus four gun Kar Karasawa. But that means a total redesign if we're gonna do that.
Well, actually, we already got one for that arm, so... Yep. However, that's... That means everything's gotta go. Absolutely everything must go. We worked for this, we earned this, but everything now must... We've gotta redesign fucking everything. We've gotta redesign absolutely everything. So I suppose for complete fucking chaos here, we could actually do... Delivery Boy. How about the Wonder Boy, huh? <laughs> We could use the soup. The soup's very nice for what our purposes here, but these just kind of go out and we can do whatever with them. Medium mech time. It's time for this. It's time for Wonder Boy to get his season two upgrade. Without, yeah, with less cheese, but we're gonna have to rebuild everything. Look at that fucking load. Oh, dear lord. The, uh, the energy. We don't want that, but. Alright, so what about the Sazabi legs? The Sazabi legs can actually handle that. There's the hovercraft legs, which, of course, but we don't want a vehicle build. No. Can any of the standard... Okay, so, th no. Th the Sazabi legs can handle it. No, no. Those can handle it. No, no, no. Wow, okay, so, uh, like, on it, it looks like we're gonna need the Sazapi legs. <laughs> okay, so we're not doing quads, and we're not doing tracks. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no. Yes. No, no. Yes. There's only three legs that can handle this load, and one of them is the Sazapi legs. I guess we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to actually do the Sazabi legs. I want to see if we can actually get this to, like, handle, like, handle like we do right now, and not really lose too much as we transition to a much heavier chassis. So, we're gonna need some shit. The Alula because meta. That would probably help us out here. But okay, so the arms. See, what about those? The, the, we're gonna have to just tr slap in the corium generator or the coral generator. I know it. Arms overburdened, 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 overburdened. Oh, this is gonna be designed. This is just gonna be designed by pure practicality, I guess, just to try and handle these fucking these guns. There's only one set that actually holds them too. Yeah, no, it's gotta be that. There's only one set of arms that can actually hold this weight. Uh. Get a coral chest or, uh, yo, get a, uh, yo, whatchamacallit, coral generator or bigger chest. Yeah, we kind of stripped out literally everything just to slam the, uh, yo, it kind of looks like we've mobile armored the original mech. We just took all the parts off and slapped some, yo. Know, we took we took the car out, and the cockpit, and the head to just kind of maintain some kind of, uh, some sort of familiarity, ship of thesis sort of thing to avoid that kind of conundrum. We just put more arms. This is the mobile armor version, I guess. But okay, so... Will the reactor actually... No, actually. It won't. We need to actually... It's the chest. Actually, this one can, but we lose basically everything. The Eon capacity and output to support Archibus energy weapon supplies more raw power than any other corporate power on the market. So that's, that's, that, that, that's that, but we don't... We lose everything else. We lose absolutely everything else, which is kind of sad. So this is our generator currently, and it is hilariously overloaded. I don't even think changing the chest will actually fix that. So we're probably going to have to change that out. I don't even think we can get a chest that will actually... Okay, what? no, uh, no. No, Ian shortfall. That's Ian load. Overburdened. I don't think... Yeah, there is no... 
there's no chest that actually solves the energy over the, uh, the shortfall. So we're going to have to go for a higher output. Check the store. I think I bought literally everything. So bought all the heads, pores, arms, everything. Yeah, no, all the parts I bought. I have all the parts I can actually use. So that, that's not going to save us. Okay, so if we go... Yeah, if we go... In output, this is the higher output model. We're still short by just a hair. Okay, there we go. Then, then we start solving the energy shortfall there. Okay, so the stock torso. Wow, funny. Okay, then we have some options. You need to change the generator and the change the core. It seems that stock, par stock parts are viable. It's because of the generator efficiency. Yeah, funny enough, the stock torso of all things. And Jake the Warlord, hello. Welcome back, sir. Okay, so that one. The Elcano meme. Again, the stock torso. This, which actually has some pretty good... That kind of helps out with our attitude stability, so anti-stagger, and generator output adjustment. Well, that, that that's how we're getting this out of there. That's how we're getting this whole shit, so... Supply adjustment, though, suffers. So, what's gonna... Good lord. We're losing something here. The problem is we only have a limited selection of parts. So really, what's the difference between this one? That's just slightly... This one's slightly better in all regards. But what about the other... Booster efficiency. And that's about it. And those are really our only, uh, aside from Mind Alpha, which is generator output adjustment, efficient, but yeah, no. All right, then. The choice is made. Let's give her a whirl. No design is perfect. Apparently so. This... Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude. This has become a mobile armor. Yeah, we kept the head. We might be able to keep the core if we, you know, change the back weapons, but... Oh, good lord, it's so slow. Wow, thanks, guys. Oh, wow, that eats a fucker. All right. Target that destroyed. That eats a, a that eats a man well dead. Done. A reactor so large it's actually like poking visibly outside the core. <laughs> yo, out, yo, outside the core. That's what that old that circular shielding is. So that eats a man dead. Okay, so what we need to do then is, um, uh, whatchamacallit, assembly, and then let's go for the I am good at everything target Ian shortfall, you son of a bitch. The I am good at everything targeting system. Man, that is a bitch. Okay, so we need more efficiency. Do we get anything with more efficiency? Is Do we have to go all the way back to stock part land? Shortfall, 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 shortfall. And that's it. The Ephemeria. Gotta change the missiles. But the targeting system is good at everything. The missiles, yeah, we can definitely play around with the missiles. 
Good lord, look at those giant fucking s Basically, that's- that's just- those are the intake fans for the- the immense power this machine requires. The missiles are beyond heavy. This is true. Gotta look at your thruster. We put- we put the fucking Alula in. We don't need to think anymore, right? That's the metagame compliant thruster. We could probably use more, en probably get more energy efficiency out of it. But let's fight King, the asshole. He's probably the hardest one to do here. Look how slow the recharge is. Yeah. There's only so much we can do. I didn't lock those. Eat shit! Man, that will stagger a motherfucker, but I don't have- I guess I need a wep- I, I- I need a melee weapon then. Ooh, it's red. Charging! Contact! Oh, that's so good. I need a melee weapon. I, I need a melee weapon. I, I need a melee weapon here to make advantage of that. That is just... I am just throwing the biggest fucking... Just red, white, and blue colored fist directly into your face. God bless America. I need a weapon here. Also, we can just spam fire the guns because we can oh, we actually stand. Let's try that. But the missiles are a little bit encumbering. They're li they're really slow to lock, but once they go off, they they come back and they haunt people. So we just gotta not let that shit go too hard. Okay, so let's try and not spam that, spam the missiles off. Oh my god. Oh my. Well, I overheat the shit out of them, but then the missiles come down. And then they come back! I'm out mowing the lawn. Wait, what? Look at those absolutely impressive motherfuckers! They're beautiful! That did not work because full shield. What a shame. Damn. He also, he, he also energy shielded. I also fire, only fired once in that regard, too. So, the missiles are funny, but I need a melee weapon. I need to take advantage of that stagger, because look at that massive, immediate stagger. I need a, I, I need a sword. Give me a sword. For the pile bunker. I could use any fucking sword I want. Give me a sword. I think one of the delivery boys is fine. Main system activating combat mode. Why didn't the other one fire? What the hell? I got staggered out of it as soon as I fired. That's a weakness. And then it doesn't fire. What the hell? At 
There's something very strange going on here. I staggered him and he killed me. I couldn't fire the second shot. Are you releasing the bolt at the same time? Yeah, but the first time it did that, it was... It fired off fine. It, it just played both animations one after the other. Activating combat mode. You're probably way too slow for the pile bugger. No. I could do it. The only problem is we have to build the stagger. Watch that heat. Too slow for the pile bunker, huh? Too slow, huh? No, you got it. You just need to get the fuck in there. We've got enough boost in here. Chain fire, mech pilot. That is chain fire. I have to really, I have to chain fire it really slowly. So it works. It's a little fucking touchy, but it works. We have to give up everything in order to get this much power, though. It's a bit ridiculous, but that's a comedy all its own, isn't it? Granted, at least it saved the, the major decals over the arm. That's kind of nice. The core got fucked, though, but it, at least it saved most of the, the decals for the... Well, actually, the, the left arm was already red. Never mind. Duh. It didn't save any of the decals. But we didn't change the head, so that, the... The... the, uh, the uh, the two color or two tone is at least kept intact. So, hmm. You know, let's try it with something. Did I buy both of the soups? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Let's try it with the soups. We could also use plasma missiles too, because I know those are probably fucking astounding. Or then we could just use, uh, we could just use dual funnels. We could also just go that far. We have both of them, and I think I have enough energy for this. That'd probably be less... That would probably be l less overkill than both of these, but then again, we'd only want to use one funnel. But then again, if we build enough stagger with both of these, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because if we build... If we take the stagger threshold, or... If we take the stagger, uh... Task or responsibility off the Kurosawas, the Kurosawas could just absolutely ream the dude. to catch the VOD, uh, my internet's taking a shit. Well, Destroyer, see you later. Also, hi, Ed. What's up? We're throwing giant robot parts together. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number three. Only the best remain. Uh, you're honestly probably better off just missile spamming lighter missiles and then, ra uh, and then rapid firing into the stagger. Probably. Because, you know, the... The delivery boys are funny, but maybe not the most efficient way of doing this. Is this Gundam? Almost? <laughs> no, but almost. I boosted at the start like an idiot. Those did not come back. Come on now. I mean, okay, sure. did not lock. So there's a bit of a melting action going on in there. Target destroyed. Maybe with charge one? Concluding evaluation. Well done. Maybe we'll charge one and then we'll just kind of have the other one to just kind of harass them to keep the stagger alive. It works, but there's a sort of finesse here and I'm, I'm trying to see if, you know, what I like about this. Program number three. Only the best remain. You're also fighting the most bulky shield in the game that hard counters energy weapons, so you'd be better off testing it against something else. 
I mean, if we're testing it against somebody using the hard counter, that only means that it's going to work against literally everyone else, doesn't it? If we're testing it against the worst possible scenario and it's still effective, I think we're good. Oh, God damn it. Come on, missiles. Come on. Come, come on! Fucking hit the... There we go. Come on. Give me that stagger. Come on. That didn't really do all that much damage. Yeah, no. I need more shock. I need more shock if I'm going to get through that. Granted, if it beats him, everybody else is absolutely fucked. And that's what I'm really testing it for. So, assembly. So, we need more shock. I need something that's going to fucking hurt. Hmm. Light wave cannon? Laser and pulse technology fires projectiles accompanied by distinction fluctuations. All right, the ghost lasers. You know what? Why not? Try those. Also, I want my melee weapon back. Because, I, again, I need the shock. Main system activating combat mode. I have, like, five-second lock time. Have fun. We'll figure it out. We're kind of just waltzing through the fire. This is Rock'em Sock'em Robots, effectively. Maneuver, finesse, nah. Walk through the enemy's fire, firing yourself. The, the strongest man wins. We're playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots. It's now fl running us a zombie. Yes, because we got the, the Karasawa and we need to effectively see how much energy we need to put in to, to actually get it to work. Throw the 10 cells, why not? Because we have... Okay, so that's 8 cell. We, I think we actually have to go buy the 10 cells. Right, we have... Because we have the ability to test whatever the fuck we want on this one. 6, 10. What about the 12s? You know what? Let's go all the way. We'll try both of them, though. The, the, the 10 cells are forward firing, though. No, ah, all the missiles. I said all the missiles. <laughs> We'll try the, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll, we'll try the, the 10 cells first. And we'll try the 12 cells and just go absolutely fucking apeshit with missiles. <laughs> Buy everything? I kind of already have. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program. Main system activating combat mode. He just ate all of the missiles, basically. Yeah. 
It's that fucking energy shield that surprise we don't actually have access to. So hang on, Lear. The thing is, I don't have the shock to take advantage of the stagger, because if you... We need something that builds stagger tremendously quickly, so I actually have the opportunity to strike. Because as you see, the whole game is getting that opening and then absolutely stealing every single hit point you can get out of it. Optimally, instantly fucking killing him the moment he gets staggered. Those aren't tracking! What the fuck?! Yeah, I saw that coming. Wow, those are awful! Only one fire, thanks. What the? Oh, you know what we could do? Now hang on here. No, I could do. No, I could do. We could throw the aperitifs on the shoulders. Assuming I actually have the damn thing still. We could throw the aperitifs as our secondary weapon. Please stop flipping more than I want. That's me double pressing. But we could throw the aperitifs if I have both ones. Yes, I do. Throw the aperitifs on, fire the missiles, because those missiles will track. Those missiles will hit him. We have watched that shit work. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number three. Only the best rem Main system. But yes, it shows that 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 pulse rifle, that that pulse shield that he has, does work. But that still filters all of your energy. So. I was barely locked, sad like. Also, I switched them by accident. Honestly, we were doing better with the delivery boys. the back bubble launchers. I think that's becoming too specialized because that will shit can him most likely, but it will also, you know, that's also hyper situational because that's where we start to get count hard countering the wrong thing. But let's see, did I ever buy the, the, those if they exist? Scatter bazooka, those are funny. Fan sent plasma cannon developed by Schneider. There's that. Laser shotgun, pulse shield launcher, be that. Back bubble launchers. What would they be called, though? Because I don't think I actually have them unlocked. The giant shotgun, if the man wants to get so fucking close. Pulse cannon or something. So, okay, do we have a pulse cannon? Diffuse laser cannon, plasma cannon, pulse shield launcher. May have bought them. Right, okay, so let me see if I have them. Right, we have missile launcher, missile, 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 dead plasma missile, laser drone. Nope. Do I have it on the other arm? I pulse buckler. I guess I, once again, uh, a weapon I don't have. Hey, Fonto, this weapon's really good. You should use it here. I'd love to have it when the game could cough it up. So as we see, that pulse shield that he's got is fucking fantastic and meta compliant. So uh, if you got that, you could probably build a build around it. But again, I ain't got that shit. So... Funny enough, the delivery boys were actually doing work. The only problem is I didn't actually have a... 
Let's compare it back here. Let's just hop back. Because this is the worst case scenario. If we can beat him reliably or stagger him and put his ass under the ground, we're going to kill anyone. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program. Main system activating combat mode. Flies right over his head as he's advancing, thanks. That's got enough to stagger him by the looks of it. Yeah, that works. The only problem is we have these awkward moments. Come on, get him. Get him! Put him down! Close. Very close. Uh, that wasn't ready. Oh god, I blind fired it and still hit! <laughs> what? Those work. The only problem is they may be situationally invalid if we have to engage close range. Like, in, even in close quarters, maybe those may be a problem, but send in the B-52s from fucking Guam. It'll, they'll solve the issue. God bless America. Those, they do work. I don't really have to do no work for to get those. What's our next mission anyway? Exterminate Honest Brute. He might be a bit, defend the dam complex. That's new. Historic data recovery. We didn't go into the ice field though. So why is that? That's very strange. Destroy two top ranking independent mercenaries. All right, well, that seems like a good, it's open. This is a worst case scenario because it's it, it's really enclosed his his arena, so the, the the missiles may not work. But we'll see about that one. But let's try this. Let's give her a test run. We've received a request from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Here's the briefing. Raven, we have a mission we'd like you to take on. Who am I killing today? The objective. In the Bellius region. Who is it today? Has been stepping up pressure on the Rubiconians it's Archibus again. The they must be laying the groundwork to take effective control over the entire planet. They've dispatched two high ranking independent mercenaries to raid the dam. Oh, God! That's just King! Oh, fuck! Ready to take on both <laughs> Master Crown and Umbarox. Okay, it's just King. Hey, look, the fight we know works now. Okay. Okay. I hope we can count on you. What a fucking joke that is. But hey, hey, look, hey, the guy we were just fighting in the arena. Good thing we gathered combat data on him. We researched it. We know all his moves. We know he doesn't miss a point blank range. King heard you talking shit. I wonder if I can, it would probably take too long to do it, but I could probably launch one delivery boy against the uh, one guy and another delivery boy against the other guy and kind of try and bounce between them while the, the fucking, the cluster tomahawks be, be better funnels than probably funnels. Actually, the delay time sucks, but the recharge is fine. The delay is what sucks, but the recharge is instantaneous and full. So there is that. The wonders of using coral power. So we're going to have to be on the ground for that long, which is awful. Okay, then. Looks like you're gonna need it, sister. This is great. You're just a Gen 4. You belong in the museum, not the AC. Together, Chartreuse. Quit telling me what to do. Two repair kits remaining. 
God, I flew into the wall. Come on, recharge, God damn it. Oh, come on! I... I had her! Who the fuck is... Oh, God damn it. You again! The simulation is changing. However, I'm still being pursued by that guy whose driver's license I stole. I got chartreuse, though. Fuck you. You're dead. You know... I'm busy! I know that move too. This is more of a challenge than I'd anticipated. AP at 50%. Alright, I gotta back up. I need to get range from King if we're gonna keep doing this. can fight them. The only problem is, again, hey, look, three ACs. Wow, you, well, good thing I tried to play the game honestly and not really use all that much cheese. But anyway. All right, well, King is the biggest fucking problem. We need to get rid of him first. We know how to shit can him, too, so we know this strat works, so get rid of King first. He's the biggest threat. Chartreuse can, we can take out with no problem. Stay at range. He sucks at range. And take, play, take advantage of their lovely team dynamic. Good. Got him before the buzzer. King is the biggest threat there. I can handle Chartreuse in this nerd. Stagger. Oh, those didn't lock properly. Come on, shit can him. Good. Oh, great. Ooh. I'd like for the Kurosawa's to come back now! 
When I just over when I overload the Kurosawa's, they're just not good enough. There's a bu you can sh you can put this down, but the problem is that it's just you could do this. The problem is the Kurosawa's when you overheat them, they're just not good enough. But the problem is you you don't really want to charge them either because in this situation the charge isn't going to be enough anyway. And also again can't exploit stagger. So Kurosawa's were out of ammo looks like. Also incredibly long duration fight too. Three fucking boss ACs at the same time. Good lord. We can do that again, but okay. Let's go back to the normal AC and compare. So, going all the way clearly has some problems here, and we definitely need support weapons to go along with the Kurosawa. It's interesting, but we... Maybe we shouldn't be forcing it that far. And again, maybe other ch other cheese, or rather... We could use... smart more, more smartly utilize the cheese here rather than going all the way with it. It's funny, but it only works in isolated instances. We can still shit-can a single AC, a AC if we want to. But the problem is... That's not a single AC. That's fucking three of them. And we're not optimized to be a tank build either. So, right, so AC data. So that shit, that shit's a problem. Actually, we should probably save this. As our fucking, our, our ridiculous mobile armor test build. And go back to our wonderful Ava here. Well, pseudo Ava. I'm getting my mecha animes mixed up. They're all in a ball. They're all in a ball. Oh, well. We can... I... We might be able to do this, because, well, we can... We can probably... We could probably beat King with, you know, just having the stagger... You know, just having Needle Gut alone. We definitely have the boost to stick with them, too, because they're two very sluggish mechs. Come on, one more. One more good strike. God damn it. It's getting that last fucking hit in. God damn it. Tart, no. I'm not accepting it. The targeting fucked me up there. Nah, fuck you. I had that. I am not accepting that. The targeting system wigged the fuck out on me, and that's the most annoying thing about playing the game currently. The fact that the targeting system just goes, and then we're not targeting the guy you're shooting at. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Again with this.
and the game you're in is littered with bullshit. I better have got that hit. I got that hit in. I better have got that hit. I did. He's barely standing still. Using every bullshit tactic in the book to stay alive. Using every bullshit tactic as we can see to stay alive. It's a cheese fight, but okay, fine. We'll get this. What did I miss? We walked into a 3v1. You must be Raven. Not a name I expected to see attached to a hostile AC. You know our priority, Chartreuse. Let me deal with this. Again, targeting system. Hello, hi, I'm looking at this guy. I would like you to keep track of him. I got him. Instant kill. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Your mech. Your strats. Everything. Moved. She can play keep away because of that fucking hover body. Well, okay then. If Again with this. Now where were we? Again, the targeting. I'm just slinging over the target when I should be on that shit. Like, the biggest fucking detriment to this entire game, or me playing this entire game, is this fucking insistence that the hard lock don't work. I almost don't even want to rely on it. But then the FCS goes retarded on me, too. God damn it. Thank you. 
Got him. Died before the cut. Died as the cutscene play. Okay. Right. So now that we can concentrate on you. We'll take it from here, Chartreuse. We've lost both of them. I'm waiting, asshat. One AC left, Raven. Augmented human C4621. We're not here to take back the Raven name. <laughs> I stole your driver's license. Next time, don't die on the battlefield, nerd. <laughs> he already used a repair kit. Thanks. some help from our buddies in the mobile infantry. I-5, I'm buying the drinks tonight. <laughs> this man, this man is your friend. He fights for freedom. <laughs> we even, you see, the AI got distracted at the last second by the two MTs that stumbled into the battle. So one of them unfortunately ate shit, but that man, that man survived. That man's a bro. Got their asses, though. A three-on-one? Come on now. But that's, again, why not cheese? Oh, well, if, if you don't cheese, that means you're just, you're actually playing the game the real way, says the person who dies over and over again to those encounters. I've looked into branch. That better be a cute girl. And when that time comes, I'll be what I'll be. See, that's why it's on the nose. <laughs> that's why it's on the nose. Whatever that choice may make me, I will be it. I'll be what I am. Also, the final mission in Brigador, if you happen to know a couple of things. Well, last time you shot a colony laser at us. Well, now we're going to be doing, um, the Happy Huggy ending, probably. It looks like I'm not abandoning my build. What a shame. But you know what we'll do? I think I'm going to call it here, folks. Because it's about five hours. I've been... That would be... That would be 20... We're already at 24 hours of playing Armored Course. You know what? We're just going to go play a normal mission for normal people. And then come back and punch an honest brute in the dick whenever I, you know, when I come back tomorrow. You know, after I survive this hurricane. It's about the Angerbert Tunnel, which is to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. Let's take a break after beating that horse shit. I want to go there. Though granted, I, again, I like that better than the AC fights. However, three on one! A nice plans palette cleanser. Yes, into the depths of the fucking so graveyard. Sure you're aware. I have no resources with which to pay you. A nice stroll through the desolation after murdering all my foes. An alternative. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the 
corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. But again, I wouldn't- <laughs> I wouldn't cheese! But man, does the game really make a solid argument for it! But maybe when I actually have all the parts in the game, then maybe, maybe I can actually, you know, make a mech that is something that isn't cheese-worthy, right? Maybe then we can put down the, ne the needle guns of our horrible wars and then actually be our own people. But until then, nah, fuck this. I ain't giving this I ain't giving this fucking game an inch. Because you see what happens. Anytime you give it a... Anytime you give it any sort of room, it will pull, it will pull something that is guaranteed to kill you the first time. So rip Sazazi build. Needs development. We could probably make that into a heavy... A heavy... A medium heavy build... Of some kind. A medium or a heavy build of some kind. We need to figure out exactly what we want out of that build, too. That we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. So we need to basically figure out what we want out of that, or what I want out of that. And I think I want, I am immune to stagger, or as immune as you possibly could be. Let's, we'll try and push that there, and then we'll, we'll, like we had in the arena against King one-on-one, -on -one, we have this, like, rock'em, sock'em robots mech that we just hurl at people. Because the delivery boys were actually funny and effective. The only problem is we needed something faster in that, in that area. We needed something that reacted faster against, you know, three ACs. Two Karasawas was a little much for it. And they don't even really seem like they pay dividends because it seems like you really... You still need something to exploit Stagger better than that. But then again, I don't have all of the energy weapon ch OST chips as well. But something... T it, it didn't, like... But I got a pile driver hit on King and the motherfucker's dead. And in a lot of cases, that seems to be a recurring theme. So it looks like, honestly, the optimal way of playing this game is to melee, you stagger, and then melee with some, like with the pile driver that'll one hit kill something, or one of the optimal ways to play the game. You wanna, you wanna make sure, you wanna exploit that stagger, and you wanna put that fucker down as fast as humanly possible. That, or you're just spamming more cheese. You have cheese engagements that are extended by more cheese. Then I. Equipment. Again with this. The effects of the coral surge must have brought some of the wrecks back online. Ag Let's see what we can find. Again with this. Coral robot zombies. <laughs> My girlfriend is a robot zombie. <laughs> Starts out like a bro broken record, and the dependency on stagger has been a detriment to this experience. Y yeah, that's the problem. The whole fucking game is balanced on that. Otherwise, you're not really given a whole lot of resources for you to contend with that shit. You really- the whole thing is the enemies have durable health that you can't just shoot- they have amount- they have health, and they have maneuverability. And you don't really have the legs to go with them unless you shit can them or dodge all of their attacks, which that's not gonna be everybody who plays this fucking game. I'm pretty sure that some attacks are just so incredibly hard to dodge that you will take some form of, you know, you will take some form of residual damage. So really the easiest way of playing the game and thus the meta, because that's the, that's the meta. That's the, the meta is the easiest, most effective way of playing the game. That's meta. That's what defines meta in video games online competitive or not. It is the easiest way I can dictate an engagement and dictate it to my advantage and win the engagement being the opportune thing, right? It's the easiest way that I can force you into a losing situation without expending any effort on my part. And that is stagger the motherfucker and instantly kill him. Do you get points for playing to the meta? Only if you win. In which case, victory is its own reward in that regard, and maybe prize money along with it. 
I'm not I'm not competing competing in any fucking tournaments though, so that ain't really my bag currently. May not be that bag at all. You know, may not be my bag ever. Though it'd be interesting to see what people work on in terms of you know trying to not just make needle gun builds. Sagger should have been a boss mechanic. I agree. Somewhat like, you see, GBO2 kind of had this right here, where if you stagger their bosses, you know, they're like four. They're like four PvE bosses. You do mo you do a shit ton of damage in a small amount of window, which is effectively what we're doing here. Stagger and AC fights, though. I mean, it makes things, makes things exciting. When I, yo, stagger someone, I get them into a corner and I wheel up that melee and I am, I am becoming an anime character as I say one-liners like, DIE! It does feel good. The only problem is I wish the whole game didn't revolve on that shit. Because now, well, we found it and it's bring the needle gun. Two days the fires and and the pile driver because the pile driver absolutely fucks. The right Apparently, started. the plasma slicer is even better, but I don't have that yet. And it seems like, honestly, going after Raven as I was shooting him with the uh, the standard rifle, I couldn't really get a stagger it in like that. So maybe I do need the in. At the higher level, maybe I do need that higher damage, you know, single shot rifle. Or a higher damage, slower firing rifle. Something. I haven't really decided what the fuck my primary weapon is yet. If the boss could like stagger like you do, or had like a hard, like a lower win, like a like a, a much larger window for stagger, that would probably be too easy. We've already got these. We've already read these. I have seen the future and everyone dies, but I've I have formed a religious movement around this. Oh no, my hubris. I mean, you could probably minimize that with certain builds, but it seems like everyone and their fucking uncle is built around reducing that to the point where it's almost a non-issue for them anyway. Because you see people who get staggered, who aren't, e who don't even stand still long enough for a melee hit. That they're still in the stagger threshold, and I can still, I have to basically, you know, sometimes I can just move quick enough to catch them while they're still be gonna be crit. But there's, they go back, they get back up and move in um, the blink of an eye. Us though? Oh boy, does it hurt us. So maybe, again, this is probably what our, this is probably what we're going to be, you know, testing and learning about with the, the Sasabi build, if, if and when we continue that. See, that'd be the thing to look at. Can we make stagger a non-issue? And can we minimize stagger to such an extent that it's really only the damage and not me being stuck being wide open to being hit too, right? Because it's one, because it looks like the reset of the ACS is something I can't control, but the actual stagger animation that I suffer, can I minimize that at least to nothing? Can I get rid of that? And yes, the point of no return. The Rubicon, if you will. This is about the first augmented humans. The same cool technology that created you. But without it, we never... Not until you get a new controller. Yeah, I think I may need to go buy a new controller when I actually have the cash to do that. But we're done. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of Coral, then it was all worth it. Again, I like the water effect. It's somewhat unnatural, but that, that that's the point. That's the point. It's eerily natural, but clearly shouldn't be what you're looking at, right? That looks like I'm looking at a body of water from farther away than it actually shows, right? It looks like I'm I'm looking at a, you know, a sea with, you know, you know, some, you know, you know, a, a modestly active sea with, you know, foam and waves 
but I'm looking at a puddle. That's the thing. I'm looking at a, a stagnant puddle. It's, it's, it's eerie and kind of beautiful, too. Again, the art designer for this game is absolutely fantastic. Destroyer Friday. He, what kept you six two he will be beatable you're to Friday. Now. Well, I'll kite you. Well, if you're going to make a donation, sir, I'll try to be on. Actually, no. Just no, I'm not going to be on on Friday. Rest. Damn. That's the important thing. Now, Friday, I'm going to take my day off. Damn. We'll see how I feel, honestly, because I kind of want to just, you know, relax for a bit after r slamming through Armored Core like this. Take a break for the month. But we'll see how I get up in the morning, I guess. See if I can go on. We still got two more days, huh? Hmm. Regardless if you are on or not, thank you for your support in advance, sir. Donations like that keep me, keep this whole operation running. So if you like me, you like... Well, you like... Whatever I do of value, find value in something that I do, I should say. Find value in anything that I do on stream. Well, thank you. The show needs money to keep operation. I, I, do, need ha I do need to have income to warrant still being here to the extent that I do that. And I try to make this somewhat interesting, informative, or entertaining. Can't always do that, though, but... Well, the support helps. Just having people in the chat also, you know, helps too. <laughs> but, well, I think I'm going to be taking it easy now for the next couple of days, I suppose. We're still going to be online here, but I think after 25 hours of Armored Core, I think, you know what, maybe we'll have some of these short four-hour streams. <laughs> maybe a little bit. I'll see, I'll see how invested I get, though, because I, it may turn into Sharklet's very short stream, only about three to four hours. Won't be on for long, guys. TM. I might be doing that. Rent more and book. Book! One of these days, when my- when everything's actually somewhat settled down, because things are kind of, well, stressful right now with finances, I suppose. But hopefully that'll be solved going forward. Another day to, another day still breathing is another day that things could improve, so that's about it. <sighs> Just have to keep going, as always. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's the show for today. Thank you for joining me. I have been your host, Fontaman. We are not done with Armored Core, but I need a break after that ridiculous 3v3 fight. We beat it to a pulp, but, well... Pat, you know, I'll be patting myself on the back and calling it a day with that one, because this game still has bullshit yet, and this is only New Game Plus One. There's even more bullshit to throw at us. However, it will probably be an ascending staircase of cheese. Or, the needle gun will be so fucking reliable that we can clearly say that it is the most, the single most broken gun in the game, and it will make every single engagement easy peasy, uh, through everything. It's, it true, the needle gun is truly the default gun. Tested through every single stage of, of metagame compliance. <laughs> but, I'm off for tonight. Try to make sure the hurricane doesn't do any damage or anything like that. Looks like we're roll rolling into the evening. It started raining earlier before I started, but we haven't had any disturbances or power flickers or internet outages, so... Well, we seem to be alright so far, but fingers crossed and knock on wood. But... Right, so... Hmm. Who is still operational here? Who can we raid? Because I know Sharklet's offline, because she said she isn't feeling well, and she's taking her days of rest where she can get them. Good girl. Is there anybody out there? No. No. Is everyone dead again? Oh. Well, Luma's up there, and somebody bought a sub for me for her channel, too, randomly out of nowhere. So I guess we're raiding the Moth Woman again. Luma Mariposa. Again, one of Sharklet's acquaintances. I'd say friends, but I don't actually know. But she says these people... Yeah, when she talks about who her streamer friends are, she says these names over and over again. 
Onikana, Ariana Foxton, Whiskey, obviously, but everybody knows that one. Luma's another name that comes up. But, okay. Remember I tried to get Zoran and Alpha Busa to raid you, and some dickhead got him to raid Soviet Womble. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Thank you for somebody thinking of me, at least. Well, I'm sure the cool kids will notice me, yo, know, at some point here. I should have been doing this from the beginning here, but, uh, well, I thought things were going to improve in a different way, and they didn't wind up doing so. But hopefully the cool kids, you know, notice the old man in the back there who's been doing this for eight years. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm entertaining. But okay. Right, so she's playing No Man's Sky. So, let's go over there and, again, say hi to the VTuber. But today's show is over, folks. See y'all next time.